What's going on, YouTube? Holy cow, it's Saturday night, and we are doing a live stream, man. And to kick things off, holy smokes, why not do a Royal Rumble? And we always do this. It's the tradition. The when we get things rocking and rolling. This is what we do, brother. This is what we do. And I got to make sure that this is public. Because right now, <laughs> this live stream is... Unless... Here we go. Now we're public, baby. So we're going to be using Blippy here to kick off this Saturday night live stream. I'm watching UFC Fight Night in the background. Man, it's some good times. And um, we're using Blippy in, uh, out of respect for Joshua Dugan. Joshua Dugan. And look who's rolling in. Rocking and rolling and popping. Detroit, it's RoboCop at in, one. And uh, I hope uh, the sound is all good. Hope everything is on point. And if you guys uh, are watching uh, Fight Night or UFC Fight Night, man, what a comeback victory. That was like the worst gash I've seen in quite some time. <laughs> and... Uh, Man, the guy got the victory. So this guy got a huge cut in between his uh, eyebrows. And then the doctor was about to stop the fight. And then in the next round, he came in there, guns a-blazing, and he got the victory. <laughs> now, what's the audio like? Is the audio brutal? This match has everyone backstage Let me know if the audio is bad here. Let me just try something here. Let me just do this. How's that? Is that better audio? Is that better audio there, guys? Let me know in the comments. What's up, Braxton? It sounds like it's coming from a TV instead of the capture card. How's that? Is that clear now? Let me know, Hitman. What's going on, everybody? Let me know. First time you're early. What's up, Will? Yeah, I updated. I hope all is well with this, but I, yeah, I updated my, um, you're waiting on the audio. Is it any different? I updated my OBS and I'm hoping it's all good. Look at this, Danhausen, Triple G, Triple G. There's all these fights on tonight. You ever do UFC 4 on Xbox? Yes, I do. Is it all good, Braxton? Introducing the individual who How's my, uh, I wonder how the audio is in the actual game let me know in the comments man but yeah that's what happens when you up <laughs> when you uh do some little updating action it's perfect now there you go now the only thing is sean cottrell well, he broke his foot the only thing is i muted my desktop audio and have their name and I wonder history. let me think here hold on let me try something here I'm gonna go like this and I'm gonna go like that how does that sound Ricky audio is good now how does uh, that sound there so here we go <laughs> Robocop's a monster going up against Dan Housen is the audio better now game got quiet a bit it's better. Here we go. Look at this. Look at Robocop. Tossing Dan Housen over. Game, game sound went down. Okay, let me do this. Hold on. Hold on a second. How's that now? Oh, here comes Doink the Cloud. We're using Blippy. Raise the game audio. Here comes Doink. It's perfect now. Okay, let me know now. Thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate it. Do not touch it now. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. Now he's been put on the defensive. Here we go. I went. I want dude love in the rumble. Braxton Lopez, season two champion. Holy cow, man, dude love. 
I had him. I had him in the Chicken Shawn Michaels in the multiple uh, gimmicks Royal Rumble. And look at this. Robocop. Remember, Robocop was the season one champ. And this guy's kicking butt and taking names. Big fight night. Congrats to you and Rick Rude. Thanks. You know, yeah, San Hagen's about to fight now. Oh, look at that. It's Hulkamaniacs Ultima by Doink. He's going up against Mighty Song. City. I'm watching it in the background. You play UFC, so I couldn't remember how to do the slap, so I was not trying to cheat. Don't worry, Hitman. There's nothing Hitman can do wrong to me, brother. Man. I appreciate you coming by. Here comes Animal. He's on his way to the Champions Rumble. And you know what? Oh, look at that. Dan Housen's done. I really wanted to scream on Friday, but man, work got in the way. So I don't typically scream on Saturday, but I didn't want to leave you hanging. Because remember, I was sick with big bad COVID, man, and I couldn't stream a few weeks ago. I didn't want to do that to you guys two weeks in a row. Ancient Clown, I am so in. I'm Blippy. And Blippy is the uh, amazing content creator. He does the education. And uh, my kids are all over that, man. And this is for he is truly Joshua Dugan. As well he should. So a subscriber on this channel. His son has been begging for me to use Blippy. And it's kind of tough when you have the theme rumbles. And I thought, you know what, I got to do it, man. I got to do it for Joshua Dugan. Hopefully he pops in at some point. So again, we're Blippy. Everything's randomized. See what happens here. Don't tell me the animal's going to get eliminated. Braun Strowman. As I'm watching the uh, the main event in the background, <laughs> have you had Rick Bo Rick Boots? No, not yet. What's up, Eric Irving? Eric Irving in the house. I can hear Eric Irving. Oh, there goes Shawn Michaels. Whatever you do, Ricky, don't pick Bret Hart. Who else do I pick? Or Macho Man? Waiting for the Walking Dead Rumble. What's up, Mad Bomb? What's the statement? Do not forget the moment you do the GTS Rumble. Oh, here comes the beast. You, you just Rumble, you hit me up so I can collab on it. Yes, you know Hitman. I don't even know how you speak. Watch this man, Hitman, have a beautiful uh, accent. That would be crazy. <laughs> so here we go. Some San Hagen, by the way. What's going on, OG Doug? And you got Civil War. I got a list put together for a Walking Dead Rumble. I would love to see it. That would be great to see it, man. All right, here we go. Here we go. Lince Dorado at nine. You want to hear how I sound? Check out my channel. Oh my gosh, I didn't even know, Hitman, that you had a, an active YouTube channel. Please go check up DOA Hitman. Don't call him to a Hitman. Oh, there goes Doyle. The birthday party is over. <laughs> the birthday party is done. Do they still invite clowns to birthday parties? Back in the 80s and 90s, man, if you had a rich friend, they would always invite a clown to the party. And deep down inside, man, I was terrified of the clown. I never said anything. Here comes Big E. But uh, my family, we weren't uh, wealthy. So uh, we didn't really have like big birthday parties. I'm telling you everything about my childhood here, but my family would always say you could either get a gift and no party or have a party and no gift. And we always said have a party and no gift. And my brother and I we were so smart. We couldn't afford uh, a console. Like we always wanted like a Genesis and Super Nintendo. We couldn't afford it. So we asked everybody to bring $10. Oh, look at the beast. Here comes Papa Shango. But, um, yeah, we always told people to bring $10. And we took that money and we bought ourselves a Sega Genesis. And it was so crazy that when people would come over, we had no games because we would rent all our games at Blockbuster. We figured we'd play the heck out of our games that we rent. Are you just get more games. Or something? And look at this. Look at Big E. So, yeah, we had no games up until, like, uh, birthdays hit or Christmas is hit. But wasn't that a smart move? You invite people and you say, just bring 10 bucks. That's all we need. And look at Sean Quattro. Not one, not two, not three, but Quattro with a $10 donation. Thanks, brother. 
I really appreciate it, man. Much love to you, brother. But yeah, that's what we did. But then we tried to invite everybody. Here comes the British Bulldog. We tried to invite everybody that we knew. Hey, you want to come to a birthday party? And my parents were so good at just uh, barbecuing hot dogs and hamburgers. And then you buy a couple bags of potatoes. You slice them up. It's cheaper, man. You can make homemade fries. And everybody's like, wow, Ricky's mom makes homemade fries. But little do they know that you're just buying $2 bags of potatoes. That's how you got to do it, brother. That's how you got to do it. But thank you so much, Sean. Patrell. <laughs> I always love the content and love being a member. I really appreciate every you, all of you people coming by. Especially on a Saturday night, it's messing with your schedule. Biggie could be in trouble. Biggie could be in trouble. And the Beast, if you're unsure about the Beast, that is the start of Beauty and the Beast. And uh, I'm hoping to see Gaston. I know Gaston is in my library. I love it. I'm hoping you see that. Have you seen my list of characters in WWE that shouldn't have worked? Oh no, Braxton, I gotta go check that out. Like the botched character rumble? That would be pretty impressive. Oh, there goes Animal. There goes Animal. And how about this? Robocop is still in it. Robocop, here comes Ilya Dragunov. Ilya Dragunov. OG Doug is saying you and your brother were smart. And then you know what's so crazy, Doug, and everybody? Some parents would even say, they're like, yeah, hey, we want to give more. We want to give you a gift, uh, you know, buy you a tracksuit or a Maple Leaf jersey. Or we want to give you more money. And we're like, no, all we want is $10. And then some people were so kind, you know, they would give us money. But um, it added up. And uh, we got our console. What you got to do, man? You got to be resourceful when you are a family that doesn't have a... Uh, the cash or you know what you do you uh you make friends with the with the kid with the nintendo <laughs> that's what you do. Oh, here comes here comes michael j fox that's scott howard from teen wolf and san hagen and songer are fighting in the background and here comes uh dragon off could be in trouble but anybody see the 80s movie teen wolf oh there goes dragon off that is so funny. Where is the wolf? Oh, look at this. Double head knocker. What's up, Kush man? Glad you uh, took out Honky Tonk Man. He was the last cha in the last Champions Rumble. Thank you so much, Jojo. I thought you were going to do a Minecraft one. Oh, there goes, wow, there goes Robocop. A Minecraft Rumble would be interesting. I wonder how, uh, I don't know how we could do like 30 people in there. Teen Wolf is a classic. I love that movie. I'm a huge basketball fan. And I just love the whole premise. It was almost like kind of like a Karate Kid style movie where it was in like a high school. Kind of got picked on, you know? I love those movies. Where the bully gets beat up <laughs> and the good guy prevails. That's how you do it, brother. That's how you do it. All right, who's coming in? Oh, no. <laughs> it is us. And Blippi's a 65 overall. Tell how my voice was kind of amped up. And Blippi, I'm telling you, I'm going to be Blippi for Halloween. <laughs> oh, man, I wish I could show you a picture. Well, that's what my kids want. Like, Daddy, for Halloween, you're going to be Blippi. Oh. I'll, I'll gain some attention when we're going to go trick-or-treating. You know what's so funny? I've taken my uh, resourcefulness, if that's even a word, to my uh, parenthood, so we know a street where they give out full chocolate bars, and um, the way we're gonna pave our uh, journey is we're gonna go to that street early. Get those chocolate bars. <laughs> People are so generous. I love Halloween, man. Communities come together. Oh no! Big E giving a shot. How does Big E give a shot to Blippi and now the Beast? Don't you know Beauty and the Beast is my favorite movie? And look at this, Scott Howard's come to our rescue. Thanks, Scotty. As I'm uh, peeking at the main event while we're doing this. You can't have your eyes on too many things. It's all multitasking. Oh, no. 
Look at this. Oh, we gotta help out. Oh, we gotta help out. Scotty, look at this. Look at this tag team. Come on, Scott. Scott, do it. Oh, yeah, we get rid of him. What about that? Alliances are real. Oh, no, they're not. Are we okay? Oh, we're okay. <laughs> we're okay. <laughs> Scotty, how do you... I gotta go give him a fair hug. From behind. Look at this, Andre. We gotta watch out for Andre, though. Are we gonna... I'm gonna try to... Well, I was gonna try to... Look at this. Oh, Flippy just doesn't have the strength. Again, he's a 65 overall. Ain't going anywhere as a 65 overall. Oh, no! Oh, we see no way! How come I can't do my... Oh, no! Carry elbows to the back of the head! Again, we don't have a lot of breathing room. Oh, look at that. Thank you so much. To Scott. Scotty Hall, here comes... Uh -oh. oh, no. Come on. Here comes Steve Harvey. Steve Harvey. I gotta do the early recovery, I think. Oh. Look at this. Oh man, Blippi just doesn't have the strength. Oh, we're gonna go after Andre. This could be a recipe for disaster. Oh, DDT on the big man! DDT! On the big daddy! Oh! He's still on his feet. This is so realistic. Oh, that wasn't. <laughs> I'm going off the top. You gotta take your chances, brother. Oh, big splash by Flippy! Let's see if Adam Page can help us here. Adam, look at this! Wow! Oh, there goes Papa Shango! We're gonna help out with Andre. Oh no, there comes Scott. <laughs> look at this! Nice! Let's see if we can eliminate the big man. Paige, chill. Beat. There we go. Let's see what these guys can do. Somebody help. Come on. Oh no. Oh, we scissor him. Remember, Blippi's only 65 overall. Can't see myself lasting much longer here, but oh, I can't believe I'm doing this to Michael J. Fox. I gotta, I gotta keep it up though. What's my, uh, well, Blippi's got some decent, he's got some decent uh, power here. Here he goes. Putting him in the chopper. <laughs> I have to put Arnold in the rumble. I'm gonna keep on working on him. Oh, here comes Bust. Oh no. Bust the rhymes and belly to belly. Nice job by Scott. Remember, Scott hit those crucial free throws at the end of the movie. Oh, we say no way. I'm gonna try to eliminate him. Let's see if Blippi's got the strength. Oh, a big shot. Oh, there goes Scotty. And now the Beast. Are we gonna take him the Beast? Oh, good recovery. We gotta be careful with the Beast. Oh no, no. 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 No, we're getting eliminated. Is Adam Page gonna help us? Oh no. We got eliminated. Live here on YouTube. What's up, Eric? Uh, not a lot of people use Air, uh, Andre online. There goes Busta Rhymes. Uh, that's too bad. Joshua Dugan, wherever you are. What's up, Steve? Man, I feel bad for not going at least uh, to the final four using Blippi. Oh, that is just too bad, brother. That is too bad, but the Beast is still up there. That's what I'm telling you. The Beast is a monster. What's going on, JB Channel? Buster Rhymes got busted. I like that. Sorry, Sean. Here comes Elias. Who is this? Just Elias at 22. Who is this guy? He's coming right after the Boogeyman. How about Steve Harvey? I'm cheering for Steve Harvey. Let's see what Steve could do. What's up, William? William Boucher. It was in the, uh, you were in that uh, subscriber rumble. Could you have a fan favorite rumble? Sure, who would the 30B? What's up, Eric? I'm still peeking at the Sanhagen song fight. 
Oh, sing me a song. It's a good competitive fight. Here comes Jim the Anvil Neidhart. So let's see. Oh no, there goes the beast looking him up. But every oh, he's going for the power slam. Oh, driving it down. He's a WWE. Yeah, thanks so much, Braxton. And Banjo Cow. Oh, there goes Elias. El Elias. Sorry, that's it, dude. Vegeta. Oh, look at this. Is the beast gonna follow up? The beast doesn't want to follow up, and here comes Vegeta. Vegeta. I won an elimination chamber match online recently with Andre. He watched everyone. That is pretty impressive. That's actually very impressive. Oh, big shot by Harvey. The song is busted up. Ben <laughs> Hagen doing a pretty good job. And now look at this, Andre the Giant. He's exhausted. Nobody notices him. The Jim the Anvil be done. Oh, Anvil stays in it. What's over 9,000? Here we go, Roy Jones. Roy Jones. Oh, what is Beast rating? Man, I think he's like a 95, something ridiculous like that. Look at Roy Jones. I made this character, Roy Jones Jr. I gotta share him inside the creation's rum or creation zone. But he is spectacular. Oh, look at him. Oh no, there goes it's Harvey. Oh, nice job. Nice job by Harvey. The song has a busted up eye, man. Still fighting. Both guys wearing the blood. We're talking about the fight night main event. Oh, there goes Roy Jones! You can't be charging forward. You can't be charging forward. Thanks so much. To stifle. To stifle. Did I say your name right? Good rumbles this week. Oh, they were crazy. Thanks, Judd 3000. Oh, man. Bobby Lashley's a beast in chambers. Maybe, maybe we gotta use him, Braxton. Just maybe I gotta use him. Look at this choke slam by Vegeta. And the beast now. Still in it. The song's left eye is leaking blood. Anybody watching the Fight Night main event? Wow, look at the beast. Beast going for the suplex. I hope Jason Dean is in this one. What's up, uh, Juice Box? Oh, there goes the Boogeyman. Okay, what number are we at? DMX. DMX is all already going to the Champions Rumble. What's up, William? Let's see how DMX does here. Oh, a nice head movement. And look at look at Steve Harvey dropping the Hogan leg drop. Is he gonna eliminate the big man? Vegeta could be done. Oh, Vegeta's done. Well, nice job by the Beast. I'd watch a UFC pay-per-view if they weren't so expensive. Yeah, you know what, OG? I, I agree, man. There was one. I still. I watch uh, the events. I'm not gonna tell you how I watch them, but there was one year. Holy cow! I think I spent like $500 or more just on UFC pay-per-views. Then they increased the prices, and um, man, I just can't afford it. <laughs> Semi, semi the Jedi trains at my son's BJJ school. How crazy is that? Happy Corbin. Happy Corbin's ready to go for dinner. And Song, oh, that cut. We're talking about the cut. Hopefully they don't stop the fight. Here comes Bobby the Brain Heenan, the weasel. OG, Doug says RIP DMX. How about this, Adam Page still in there. Happy Corbin's not so happy right now. Oh, a nice reversal. A nice reversal. And now Andre going after Adam Page. Happy Corbin's just chilling. Happy Corbin is relaxing. It looks like... Oh, I thought they were going to stop the fight. Song's cut. A little crazy. Oh, no, sweet chip music at the big man's done. Stop the fight. Here comes the Undertaker. And which Undertaker is this? Oh, it's the Biker Taker. My personal favorite was Chris Von Eric. He tried so hard despite medical problems to succeed in his family business. What was his family business? What kind of mic do I use? How's the mic sound? Juice, does it sound okay? The 
I'm kind of having some uh, audio, game audio issues. But um, all is pretty good now. Look at DMX. Don't, don't eliminate DMX, beast. Wow. Funky 8 paying big bucks. Hey, Ricky, have you thought about doing a 90s TV show Romo? That would be great. That, I would, that would be actually really up there. I like that idea, man. TV show at Al Bundy. William Birch, thank you so much. Look at Will. Thank you so much, Yokozuna, coming in at 30. Thank you so much, William Birch, with the $7 donation, dude. You're so generous, brother. I really appreciate you, man. What's up, Hassan Terrell? Who's your favorite? What's your favorite moveset in WWE? Man, I'm not too sure, Brax. To be honest, you know, I make these videos... I don't even know what the move sets are, to be honest. Isn't that crazy, Braxton? I know you're probably shaking your head at home, but I'll be honest with you. I don't even know the move sets. But let me know what yours is, and I'll definitely check it out. Someone get Corbin out of there. How about a British Royal Rumble? I was thinking about that. I was thinking about that, man, for a British Rumble. Throwing my Season 3 champion out there. It's going to be Zidane. What's up? Samsera. Samsera Stark. Starky. And there's nobody else coming in right now. And it seems like the Beast has been in there for an eternity. And I don't know who said it. Am I, am I rooting for Triple G to win again? No, I'm going for Canelo. Canelo Alvarez. Let's see what happens here, though. Let's see what happens with DMX. And there's all these... Uh, it's crazy, man. There's all these things going on on Saturday. That's why I didn't really want to stream on Saturday, but I had no other choice, like I said in the beginning of this video. I didn't want to leave you hanging. After uh, being sick, look at that, look at Steve Harvey. But it's all good, it's all good. This is way too much fun just coming in here. Oh no, there goes Happy Corbin. Somebody's a happy camper. Oh no, DMX getting hit with a shot. Oh, wow. You can't defeat the spirit of DMX. Oh, there goes the Undertaker, the Weasel. And how about this final four? You got the Beast, DMX. You got Harvey and Bobby the Brain Heenan. This is great. MLB Rumble would be great, William. But I was looking at the creation zone, and they don't really have a lot of guys. But I could do like a 10-man MLB Rumble before the playoffs. That's a good idea. I got to do more videos. No, there goes DMX. More videos that are trending. Uh, but here we go. The Beast and Steve Harvey. But I just like to do videos that uh, I find are interesting. But um, it would be wise to do things that are trending for sure. Would there be enough people to do a Fortnite Rumble? I'm pretty sure. Oh, no. Oh, no. The abductor has been destroyed. Wow. How about the beast showing no mercy? Oh, what? is it your birthday? Be better tonight, best birthday present to me. Happy birthday, ancient clown. Come on, Harvey. I've been telling you, I've been cheering for Harvey since the beginning. Don't tell me the beast is going to do it. Don't do it, baby. No. Oh, he's getting flipped over. Oh, it's over. Wow. The beast. I don't know when this guy came in. When did this big mama come in? But he definitely, like the commentator said, he definitely outlasted his competitors. Beauty and the Beast. I have a funny story about Beauty and the Beast. I went to go see Beauty and the Beast in uh, the theater, like the movie when it came out. And then there was a point where uh, <laughs> I got a little emotional during the movie. Hey, there's no, uh, don't fight it, brother. It's so... Uh, the, the true tough guy could show emotion, but I was showing emotion. It's my favorite childhood uh, movie. So I went and saw it live with the wife, and I was showing some emotion. And this little girl tapped me on the shoulder, and she's like, It's okay, sir. Uh, the ending is actually a happy one. And then after, I'm like, That was very embarrassing, but very touching. 
And um, that girl's right. But at that moment, I don't know which moment it was. <laughs> I think when the beast couldn't find true love. Kind of reminded me of myself back in the day. But we're not going to get into that. We're not going to get into soap operas on a Saturday night. But um, it was so funny when the little girl tapped me on the shoulder and told me everything's going to be all right. <laughs> Great times, man. It's little things like that that make your outings so fun you're in your positive interactions with people but great great stuff but here it says what if mark anthony well that was fun to watch nicely done too bad i didn't win it kind of feel bad for the blippy fans out there what size clothes us do you wear shirt wise um i don't know why you're asking hitman but i'm a large i'm a men's large i'm six foot two hundred and eighty five pounds it's crazy. I lost like 10 pounds in like three weeks, and that's not good. I may get you a Montreal Expo shirt. Oh, that's great. Hey, like people say, yeah, number one, you don't have to do that, but we love the Expos here in Toronto. I don't know why people feel that Montreal and Toronto fans don't like each other. I respect Montreal Canadiens, the hockey team, and I love the Expos. I went to go see Vladimir Guerrero Sr. back in the early 2000s at the uh, Montreal the Olympic Stadium, and it was so fun. It was so much fun. I want to start a federation using Ka, different match types except for Royal Rumbles. That would be a poo move. <laughs> Expos tr trademark? Yeah, man. But let's um, move on here. So in this, hold on, in this stream, kind of stuttering here, we are going to face off against you i want to get you involved so if i over here we usually do a wheel and you get to play with me in wrestling or fight against me in boxing or in ufc all right so i'm thinking i don't know man maybe we start off with some wrestling or do we do a poll where's Cushman? where's Cushman? Cushman would know i think we're gonna do a poll ricky Root for Triple G for, for me, Ricky. I even bought his merch in honor of him. Oh, that's nice, man. That is awesome. So, um, maybe we should do a poll. So you guys could pick what we play first, okay? So I'm gonna create a poll here. What, what should we play first? So is it WWE 2K22, Boxing, Fight Night, Champion, or UFC 4? UFC 4. So vote away. Oh, let's see what happens here. Hold on. All right, man. OG says, who included me? Ricky J, it's Mike7072, add me to the wheel. Miles, sorry, not Mike. So yeah, let me know. <laughs> it looks like, here, I'm gonna erase things here. Oh, nice takedown there by San Hagen. I'm peeking at the game. We're at the match, the main event. And Song's still in there, still throwing shots. You see who I was playing as in UFC 3 Undisputed? Who are you playing as? <clears throat> Shaq? The poll should be up there. Uh, hey, what's going on, Timmy? Let me see. Hold on here. I want to check out the poll. Can I bring the poll down? There we go. So 75% of you. Shaq's in UFC oh, 2010. Bro, you just did wrestling. Why? So we'll we'll see, man. We'll, we're going to flip-flop back and forth. Play as a Walter in online WWE 2K. Did you see the new ice hockey league they started? What was the new ice hockey league? What was the new ice hockey league? So yeah, don't forget to vote away. It looks like it's going to be WWE 2K22. You will team with me or you'll get crushed. So what we're going to do, I'm thinking that we do a PlayStation 5 matchup since Hitman can get it all going. A Finding Bigfoot TV show rumble, that will be cool. Add me only to the UFC wheel. I don't have the other games. No problem. What's up, Jackson Young? <laughs> Eric Irvin. 
Eric is done from boxing. That is crazy. Ice Guardians is a fight league on skates with jerseys. Oh, wow. Irving saying, <laughs> forget about the PS5. Wish you could afford it. Wish you can get one. I'm good, Jackson. Good, Jackson. I'm rec recovering. I would say I'm almost 100%. We'll, we will be doing standard tag elimination match as the Hart family so we can do the heart attack. <laughs> okay, so let's do um, PlayStation 5 first. Just because I have it on, it's convenient. Um, wow, Eric Irving has dropped his boxing gloves forever. So if you want to jump in and um, join the fun on PlayStation 5, let me know your PSN. Again, we're doing PlayStation 5 wrestling first. I've given up trying to get a PS5 waiting for the PS6. <laughs> Sorry, brother. Keep on trying if I lose because Ricky, I'm retiring. Remember, Hitman, I am the weak link. I am the weak link when it comes to our tag team. So we got Juicebox. This is PlayStation 5, man. So Juicebox wants to do some wrestling. Anybody else? You have improved so much. Thanks so much, Hitman, but I'm telling you right now, I'm nowhere near your level. Nowhere near Eric's level. Put me on there. No, of course, Hitman, you're already in. Hitman, you're already in. You are already in. Good evening, everyone. GoldenEye is returning to the Nintendo Switch. Wow. Man, I remember GoldenEye was really big on Nintendo 64, but I'll tell you what, Eric. Back then, I, I was into PC gaming. I didn't have a Nintendo. But I'll tell you, I was so blown away by Super Mario World, I think it was, for Nintendo. Open World? Was that the first ever open world game? So I take it we're doing the wheel to decide who's joining? Yes. Anybody else? PlayStation 5 that wants to play some wrestling. Yeah, Irv is right. GoldenEye 007 was announced for Switch. Anybody else for PlayStation 5 Wrestling? So Hitman's gonna set it all up. I'm loving these tunes in the background. I'm gonna go to lobbies. Hitman, you're already in. Hey all, specify your system if you want. Thank you so much, Kushman, for the donation, brother. We're gonna just quickly do a PlayStation 5 match. Just because, you know, I already have it already on, and um, then we can move on over to the Xbox side for sure. But thanks, hit, uh, Hiccups, Cushman, for the donation. Can you put me on the boxing wheel when we get there? For sure. Are you intoxicated sure. or something? Thank you so much, Cushman. So anybody else? It looks like there's nobody else that wants to wrestle but Ladon439. Choose... Do you want me as the anvil or me as Rob Tyson? Whoever you want. I'll use Bret Hart. Sorry, Eric. Can you put me on the boxing? Well, yes, I read that. Funny how a lot of games nowadays just make a lot of, of stealth just be if you're above them. You're invisible. What does um, Doug mean by that? Choose do you... Yeah, okay. 64% of people are dying to get on the WWE wheel. 64%. <laughs> That's not a lot. That's not a lot. Are you, are you oh, or something? Albert! Albert, not a retro, says Montreal and Toronto fans do hate each other. It's a rival as old as the founding of the country itself. Leafs, Habs, or Jays Expo's bloodbath. But you know what's crazy, Albert? I don't know if it's just me. Thank you so much for the donation, by the way, brother. I really appreciate you. But um, I, I have nothing against the Montreal Canadiens. I remember I went to Cuba back in the day with a girlfriend and um, we met Montreal people and they're like, ah, oh, no, you're from Toronto. And I was like, hey, I have nothing against you, Montreal people. When we're eliminated in uh, the Stanley Cup, I cheer for Montreal. I, I would rather have a Canadian team win. I'm Canadian. I'd rather have a Canadian team. So if Hitman could set it up, by the way, that will be great. But we're gonna do a quick match, but um, yeah, I have nothing against people from Montreal. Ricky, fun fact of the day, the first human voice was recorded in 1860 by Scott de Martinsville using the, 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 how do you say that? 
The Fawn Autograph. Well, that's a pretty fun. Give me another fact, man. This is cool. I'm probably one of the few Xbox wrestlers. Okay, we're going to get it going. Hitman's setting it up. If we get one, no one else, we may just do a triple threat elimination match. Okay, that's fine with me. I don't mind getting my butt whipped. So, Ladon. Are you intoxicated or something? Somebody else is intoxicated. I'm going to switch on over. Oh, it's C4. <laughs> Thank you so much, George St. Pierre says, are you intoxicated? Oh yeah, let me tell you something, Ricky. My hogs are making a comeback. I'll be back after the game, brother. College football mascot rumble. Thank you so much, Sipo. We'll be here, brother. I appreciate your generosity. And um, yeah, I got to do a part two of the mascots rumble. That was a fun watch, wasn't it? That was a fun watch. I was really cheering for uh, the Colonel. And the Colonel, <laughs> I think I got ousted pretty early. But we're waiting for Hitman. We're waiting for Hitman to set things up. Cushman is not happy that we're we're doing the PlayStation side, but we're gonna get this quick, and then we're gonna do the Xbox side. Do you know the old Canadian comedy group, the Fanatics, used to crack me up in the '80s? Four on the floor. Frantics? The Frantics? I don't even know them. How sad is how sad is that? As so much hate as I give him, I'ma be wearing an Eli Manning jersey tomorrow. <laughs> That's great, man. So please, Hitman, if you could set it up. Hit hip hop commentator, do you want to get in on some PS5 uh, wrestling? Let me know, brother. Let me know. Another fact: the first black singer ever recorded was George. W. Johnson, but since American people gave that he was forced to sing song making. Wow, that is so bad. Isn't that so bad? You know, last week I went to the, or this past week, I went to the J game, and um, man, when I go to the J game, that's baseball by the way, I always love talking to people in my area, and I was just telling them about how Jackie Robinson is such a, a legend, and in our stadium, we, we honor him. He never played for the Jays. But we honor him for his ability to kind of break down doors, man, and understand the acceptance of all, you know? And it's crazy how times were different back then. But we're waiting for Hitman to set things up. And uh, Banjo Cow, I'm going to do a soccer rumble, a football rumble. So Hitman, what's taking you so long? Set it up, brother. Hip-hop commentator is available. Okay, good. So hip-hop commentator, once DOA Hitman sets it up, you and Ladon439 are gonna join, and you're gonna kick our butts in a tag team match. Yeah, dope boy, I'm cheering for uh, Canelo Alvarez. Man, he, he's gotta redeem, I can't believe he lost. I can't believe he lost. A secret fave of mine is good old whiskey sour. Oh, that's a, a very interesting drink. Amaretto Sour. That was always a good one. What's up, John Wellesley? I'm a Canadian too. I'm in Woodbridge at Tim's Wendy's. On You're right there right now? That's so cool, man. That's like 30 minutes from my house. I could drive there, brother. Give you a, a brother hug and say thank you so much for being who you are. Where, where's Hitman? We got to set it up. All files count anywhere. No problem. I'm, I'm looking. I keep on refreshing the page. Hello at all mods here. Also, thank you to all those wrestling creators for those great looking wrestlers. Wasn't that crazy monsters here? Oh, there he is. Oh, we're doing a triple threat. Do a tag team. We got Ladon and Hip Hop. But I guess we could do triple threat. Oh, there's Ladon. Okay. Wait, who am I going to use? I gotta use the Hitman, Bret Hart. That sharpshooter. This is gonna be nuts. Triple threat. What's up, boys? I'll mute my mic. Ricky, you watched the. I did watch the fights. Great job by San Hagen and the guy in the co main event. What a comeback. That cut was pretty gnarly, man. You're, you're there after work Fridays? Nice. That is nice. What's going on, Ben, by the way? What's up, Kev? Yo, Rick, you decided to Famous People in History Rumble? That would be, uh, yeah, if you can give me a 30. Did you make the 30? I think you did. Um, yeah, I gotta, like, I could do that, brother. 
And thank you so much, Kev, for being here, man. Nice to see you. What's up, Jimmy? Jimmy3457, time for Ricky to eat it. You know what? I've taken my... You know, if you guys have been watching my streams, I get beat up in wrestling, man. I get beat up in wrestling. It's pretty bad. And you know what I was uh, going to tell you guys? I no longer keep this streams uh, public because I was told by YouTube to make it unlisted. So they are still there, they're just unlisted. It'll be a nice safe Ricky for last. You're gonna save me for last? Canada, Canada, Canada. <laughs> Am I talking too much about Canada, Hendrix? <laughs> Remember, no 100 overalls. Yeah, so I'm using the Bret Hart, he's 91. Thank you so much, Jimmy. Oh, there's, look at this. Jason Dean, he was in the subscribers rumble. And that is so cool, man, that we're going to see L Jason Dean, LaDon, controlling him. That is so awesome. And I tell you, that was my favorite video to make. It was so cool just seeing the amount of passion and the interest that people have towards this game. And then adding you guys into the Rumble and shouting you guys out was just so much fun for me, man. Oh, look, I can hear myself. Is that LaDon? Mean Dean, Jason Dean, brother. All right, people, can't hate me, but I wish I lived. Why were you, can why do you wish you were Canadian? Muhammad Ali, I gotta, you gotta explain yourself. Whoever has the mic on, it's LaDon439, Jason Dean. Are you going to sub Royal Rumble? I did a sub Royal Rumble already, Jimmy. It was so fun, you gotta go check it out, man. There's so much racism and hatefulness. Well, we're, you know, the sad thing is that that exists everywhere, brother. But um, with our country, I'm going to put music back on until it loads. But it, with our country, we're a multicultural country. Like where I live, there's uh, little Portugal, little Italy. You know, there's little uh, Poland, Ronsonsvilles. You know, you have just such a wide range of cultures and we all kind of come together and what's the beauty i gotta say sorry i'm being all canadian today man but with this whole bill c11 that's another if you want to know about that i could tell you about that but um when the world cup comes we're all going to be coming together man because canada's inside the world cup we made it we made it into the world cup it was the first time since like the 80s need your help man how do you get top position ufc3 after catching a kick Man, I haven't played UFC 3 for quite some time. Ben, but when you catch a kick, just perform at the takedown controls, right? You should get the takedown. Yeah, Little Portugal was great. Are you Portuguese, Sam Sarah? I actually grew up in Little Portugal. Like, not really grew up, but learned uh, a <laughs> little Portuguese. And I've used it before on this channel. If you do a second one, I want you to download Jimmy Slice. Okay. I thought I downloaded Jimmy Slice. Did he not make it inside the Rumble? Talk show host? <laughs> that would be great. That would be great. Hendrix is... <laughs> hey, y'all. Uh, what's up, Double B? What's up, Double B? I think it's taking a while to download Sean Dean. And you know what's nuts? I think I have Sean Dean on my roster. You hear nothing bad coming from Canada, but you know what? Bad things still happen here, man. Ever been to the Hockey Hall of Fame? Yes, I have. You know what's funny, Joe? We walked right by it when we went to the J game. And, um, man, the Hockey Hall of Fame is nice. Put a poll in? Should we redo it and do a cough free match? What's up, Ricky? I have three rumbles to catch up on, but I got you. I usually watch them at 1.5 speed. So I know, you know what's funny, Doughboy? They're long, man. That's why I do it. I do one take because I find like that's what makes it entertaining. And I have no time to redo it again just because, well, I wanted to keep it entertaining by doing one take only, but like, why would you want to do it again? That's like 30 minutes. Who's gonna win the war? The war? What? Who's... <laughs> what is Hendrix saying? <laughs> what is Hendrix saying? But should we um try this again? Are we going to... 
Jimmy Slice, I got a nasty move set. Oh, yeah. We'll do a part two. You doing the poll or what? Are we, uh, does it crash a lot? Man, what is up with this game? USA versus Canada Rumble. Female actress Rumble. I think, um, what I'm thinking, Mike and everybody else, for if we do a season four, I'm thinking of doing a um, all-female season. So should we... Uh, hold on here, let's think. Should we reset and do it again? Does it usually take this long? I don't think it does. Does it? I was recently working out, but I stopped to pay attention in school. Was this a good idea? Yes, it was, Jackson. You know, I'm telling you right now, man. School's your number one ticket. You could always work out after. And the good thing is, muscle memory is true. We need to reset. Let's reset. Muscle memory is so real that you could take a break. You know, and then come back and you'll get back almost in about two weeks to where you left off. But focus on school, man. Focus on school. And if you're going to study, brother, I can't believe I'm giving you. A I'm going to just reset my game. But um, if you have to study, make sure you're in a quiet space. Make sure you're in a quiet space. Don't be watching TV and trying to study because you know what? You're pretending to study. And always ask yourself the questions, you know, ask yourself the questions, you know, quiz yourself, get somebody to quiz you. If you don't know what you're doing. Got to go back and go to that quiet space. That's just how it goes. So we're going to redo this. Sorry for the delay. So that's how it is. Hitman's going to set it up again. What are you guys saying? And he said, my favorite quote from Detroit, Rock City. <laughs> Ancient clown. You know what's funny? Speaking of Detroit, a long time ago in 2004, I went to go to see the Toronto Raptors against Detroit Pistons at the Palace of Auburn Hills. And we went to go see the Raptors. It was the um, game five, but that was like the deciding game because in the first round back in the day in the NBA, it used to be only best out of five. So my buddy, myself and 15 buddies, we went to go cheer on the Raptors. All I got to say, it was so rowdy in there. It was so scary and dangerous for us that by the end of the game, we were cheering for the Pistons in fear of our lives. And um, I dressed up as a Raptor when we walked into the arena. I didn't think it was going to be like it was. And people were throwing peanuts at my head. People were throwing all kinds of stuff that I had to take off the outfit. Um, it was pretty scary, man. It was pretty scary. Read your last message. Did it hit? What did he say? The thing I have a problem with in Canada is their sports team's performance. Are we too good? What's up, Ricky? First time attending a live stream. What's up, Double M? Massive Matt. Thanks for being here, Matt. Do not skip the entrances. Oh, there's Hitman. And we... Oh, it says it's full. It says it's full. How did it... We're gonna, he's going to set it up again. My Detroit story is like every football. I'll never, Sam, Sarah, and everybody else listening, I'll never go to another city to cheer on my team who is visiting. It's not worth it. It just ain't worth it. You know? At the end of the day, man, I want to come back to my family in one piece. Wait, what happened to Hitman? Where did the hitman go? I gotta back out. Come on, let me back out. We'll get this going here, man. Thank you for being patient. The good thing about Fight Night, I gotta say, and UFC, is that the games happen quick. With this, it just seems like it takes an eternity for things to get going. What? The hitman's gonzo. See if this works here. Thanks for um, <laughs> waiting, man. Here we go. It's 
weird. For some reason, I don't get notifications. So, Hitman, if you set it up, I'll, I'll try to catch it quick. I went to a Texan game in Detroit. I was quick to leave before the game ended. Oh, wow. That is it. Who just said that? D skills. See? And you know what's nuts? D skills? The following year when I went, that's when they had the brawl, the malice at the palace. That's when, man, Ron Artest, Steven Jackson, Jermaine O'Neal went and fought the fans in the stands. And you know what's so crazy? That year, the Indiana Pacers were going to go, I would say, would have won the NBA title. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that. They were going to win the NBA title, and then they blew it. Ron Artest, he got... See if you can accept it. I didn't get anything, man. Just make it public and... Uh, I'll join. But yeah, he got suspended for the whole year. Jermaine O'Neal, I think he got suspended for like 50, 60 games. Same with Steven, Steven Jackson. That was a great team. Meta World Peace didn't do anything wrong. He defended himself. Yeah, that fan, man, threw the coke at him. And then he went right into the stands. Right into the stands, man. See Hitman set it up again. I'm so slow. Okay, let me do it again. I'm focused now. You would do the same thing. That was nuts. There's a documentary on it on Netflix. If you're ever bored. Are you the perp king? Hitman, are you in? Hitman, what's your gamer tag? Are you in? I'm gonna I'm gonna message him. Here we go. Falls count anywhere. Triple threat match. Ladon, come in. Ladon's in. Oh, you, do you want me to? He rehosted it. Okay. Okay. Again, I apologize for the delay, man. This is how it goes. Setting up a WWE match. There we go. Here we go. Brett the Hitman Heart. Harvey Weinstein Accusers Rumble. I have small biceps, but my wrist muscles are super buff. That's good to know. <laughs> that is good to know. I'm 30 years old and I want to get into streaming and join complexity. That'd be cool. That's what I'm trying to do. You want to get into streaming? Do it, brother. Heart, the Bartman, shirt it up. What's up, Joseph? What is up? Are we ready to go here? Are we going to get this going? Here we go. We're waiting. We're ready. Hitman's got to do it up. You're waiting till this random leaves? D Skill says the best way to get into streaming is just do it. Well, we ain't got Leon here. Can't you boot him out? Perp King. I feel like he's part of the stream, though, but you can't boot him out. Another great match, Joe Biden versus King Charles. False count anywhere. That is pretty funny, man. Oh, he's left. Come on. Dean, join. Dean, join, brother. He's not picking till Leon is in. There he is, he's in. Okay, we're finally getting things started. Ricky, on behalf of the LGBTA community, can we do a... Oh, whoa, whoa. Dre, man. I, I could, man. I definitely could, Timmy. 
Ricky, you should see Triple G in the weigh-in. His arms were huge. He looked like a, a light heavyweight, not a middleweight. Could this be the end of Canelo, Muhammad Ali? You're the boxing pro. If he loses this. Can you play as Mike? Mike Morales? The Spooge Gobbler? Yeah, I've been trying to tell Tim, the tap man, and Doc that I want to get in it. I don't know what's going on with Timmy's messages. He can't see mine and I can't delete them either. I don't know, brother. Okay, here we go. Oh gee, I could do I could do whatever, brother. I could do it all. That's the thing about this game, it's endless. It's endless. American football fan? Mass, I follow the NFL, but I'm not a huge fan, brother. I'm in a league, well, like a, what do you call it? A league where you have to pick the winner of every match, but you can't pick the team twice for the rest of the season. Great win, Ricky J, using Rick Root. Thank you so much, Monster Zero. What a great, that was crazy. It was like four in the morning when I did that video. Rumble ideas are limitless because of cause. That's so true. This take a long time. <laughs> Rez is saying, please instantly skip the entrances. What's up to the legend, David Wilson? What's going on, Dave? We're wrestling with the setup of this game to finally get a match in. Are we ever going to get a match in here? Are we gonna have to move on? Thanks for coming by. Monster, I don't know what it was about the iced coffee, but it got me all fired up. And you know what's so crazy? That my left eye lid, okay, the bottom one, I don't know why I'm touching it, but was twitching throughout the whole course of that video. So then I started to worry and I'm like, what's going on with me? Uh, am I turning to Teen Wolf or something? But um, I Googled it, like why is my left eye twitching? And they, oh no, no, sorry Google. No, 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 my phone went off. But they said is number one due to lack of sleep, stress, and way too much caffeine. So then after I put the piece together, I'm like, well, lack of sleep, okay, too much caffeine. And I don't know if I'm stressed or not, but uh, two out of three, you know, if you're a baseball fan, that's, you're batting 666. So I laughed about it, it's so true. You think GSP stays retired? Oh, for sure, Massive. He's not gonna fight again. Metro Zero, you think that's funny? What's going on, Colin K? Are we gonna ever get this going? I think we may need to move on to the boxing side. We may need to move on to boxing if this is not gonna load. It is taking way too long. Should just 1v1. Okay, Hitman, do you want to just face me one-on-one -on -one then? What's going on here? Ladon is ready to go. Man, what's going on? I see you. These servers are awesome. They really need to uh, improve these servers. What's up, Generation Lost? Did you watch the fights, brother? Generation Lost, OG. Oh no, it's loading. Oh my goodness, I'm about to leave. How do I get back in the game? No, 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 I don't want to remove myself. Look at this. You're about to remove yourself. I said no. What is this? Oh, you left? Okay, wait, so I'll leave to just leave? Oh my gosh, this is taking way too long. I don't usually show frustration. You broke your game now. Okay, hold on, let me, um... Switch off. I don't want to, not like I'm going to keep this video up, but if you show the intro, you get a copyright claim, which is not a strike, but um, they don't want you showing the intro of your videos. Unbelievable. Okay, this is going to be the last attempt, 
and then we're gonna move on and look at this sipo can i get a savage oh yeah let me tell you something brother and he won and we won our game tonight the hogs Oh my gosh, and what's up, Ricky? I'm here for the rest of the stream. Are you intoxicated? All right, here we go. Sipo, brother, I'll tell you right now, man. <laughs> you don't need to donate, brother. Thank you so much for the donation. Hold on a second. Oh yeah, let me tell you something right now. My favorite meal is a pig because I like bacon and the hogs are my favorite team. And I gotta say, oh yeah. For the win tonight, yeah, Sipo coming in here, yeah, not messing around, cheering for the team he wants to cheer for. He slithered with the snakes and soared with the eagles. He's battled with storms and dealed. What's that? Not dealed, that's not a word. And weathered the storm of hot and cold okay weather. Or something? He's the man, the myth, the legend. Don't call him Capo. Call him Sipo. Ho, yeah, yeah. <laughs> How about that? How about that? Thanks, brother. Thank you so much. And that's good that your team won, man. That is good that your team won. And I really appreciate you, brother. Holy cow. And are we going to get this going? Are we going to get this going? It not only do they need to improve the servers, it's Saturday night, so everybody's on. Oh, oh here we go. So we're facing Hitman. And I'm going to try to beat him. With my own Brett the Hitman heart. And we're facing Roman Reigns. Look at this. It's going to start. Got all three of my nephews over, so wasn't able to be here from the start. No problem, man. And look at David Wilson with the $20 donation. Thank you so much, David. Oh, my gosh. Famous religious figures. Rumble. Thank you very much, David. You didn't have to do that, big boy. Oh, I got to switch on over. I got to switch on over. Here we go. This is a one-on-one -on -one matchup. The tribal chief. Oh, thanks again, Dave and Sipo, and everybody Steve's here. What's up, Brief match. Construction? As long as Making he's not Brett the Hitman Hart. I'm Brett the Hitman Hart, Brief. <laughs> Glad to see the Hogs winning. Pounds. This is so crazy. It's finally working. So we're facing Hitman. David Wilson, just give me an Anderson no Silva impression. Well, for me, I think that Chief David too generous because Ricky do nothing. Ricky just talk on the mic. Roman and this Reigns guy, very, very, very nice guy. I appreciate you. It's a big sport, Dave. Now, or shall I call you David? The the but your last name's a win because it's Wilson. That's Elvis. it. And just so Indeed. you know, Ricky's now going to get Roman destroyed. All the best, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> and those who accept their spot there you go brother at his table for me i think that roman reigns good i watched the interview with uh roman reigns and logan paul and good interview the, there is, the, the guy has was, white teeth beautiful and teeth i don't know if he uses press white strips or not but good looking guy that's it <laughs> Tickle me, Ricky. People pounds. keep singing and I kept on playing. Oh, by the way, I want to tell you, I totally fixed the sound issue. Hopefully, remember it was delayed? I don't know if you guys remember that. It was delayed. Timmy Hendrix, you are right. Jesus, <laughs> you're right. He is the head of the table, but. Roman Reigns, you know, what does he say he has? What kind of blood? By the guts and the toughness of these I can tell you it goes what against What kind of blood does he What does he say he anything to their opponent? Because he has like two and sets of twins. Is absolutely despicable to each of these competitors and they will do everything in their oh, power this. to avoid it. That's Ooh. very true, but is this Aussie rules or whatever day, all rule uh, no rule. Come on, brother. Ooh. Oh, look, I'm wrestling with the ref. What is that? Oh, oh. Good Lord. That was nasty. Hitman's trying. From way up oh. Down. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. Bad predicament right oh. here. All the way down. Oh, what's coming here? Submission move being applied. The official ask him. Looking for anyone to break out of this, and he does. Here we go, look at this. Looking to take flight here. 
<laughs> From the top. Oh. oh man, big time. Yeah. <laughs> Is this uh what are the I'll rules the on this match? Obviously submission match rules Oh, look at Brett. But what does it take to win? Proper. Oh no, getting in position. What's he planning to do here? What's this? A stump puller. Oh, the big dog is in a bad way. Yeah, Roman. Oh, yeah, he gets out of it. From the agonizing submission. Oh. Reigns comes up short on that attack. Not gonna go for the submission. I'm gonna. Oh, nice job. Reigns able. To oh, a nice scoop slam. Oh, that was just malicious. Insulting. Look at him. Pride and poise personified. Oh, fireman's carry. Fireman's carry takeover. He's absorbed oh, some nice. already. I gotta get out of the ring here. Oh, a nasty oh, right. stop to finish it off. Oh, he's leaving. Heads outside, but this one has to end in the ring. Out of the ring. What's his plan? Oh! Here? Oh, look at this. <laughs> and turning it into a mat slam. Three. Yeah, I got to work the arm. Oh, nice. Oh. Oh, a little neck breaker action. <laughs> look at this. Oh, I didn't know you could touch. I didn't know you could do that. Oh. Tickle the feet. Oh, targeting that leg. On the knee. Now Brett, classic Brett. Middle. Oh, the Rockers. Oh, nice. He's so good at that. Oh, Brett says no way. <laughs> oh. Oh, what am I doing? I'm psyching him out. Oh, nice job. Oh, a little backbreaker. Oh, nice. Oh, beautiful. Is anybody's match here? There we are, the big chop. Oh! Oh, he gets up. Oh, I hit the rock. Oh, a Russian leg sweep. Give him the foot rub submission. Here it is, pile driver. Oh, a nice reversal. Oh, Brett was waiting for it. Well, Russian leg sweep. And then Brett's got to go. That's signature Brett Hart. Brett oh, not not the top. This is out of his element. Going for it. Oh, lands it. Here's a charge finisher. Oh, no, it could be over. It's over! <laughs> Sorry, man. That's it. The Hitman gets it done. Here is your winner. Bret Hart's tough, man. The Hitman. Bret Hart is tough. And that's a textbook win. A lot to be proud of there. But it, I agree with Hitman. It had some leg to it, man. It definitely had some leg. Hitman, don't retire, brother. Do not retire. You know, you'll get me next time. Holy cow, man. Great fight. Great fight. And thank you very much for setting that up.
Wow. Don't worry, Hitman. I hear Hitman. I won't use Brett next time, man. I definitely won't use Brett next time. All right. So are we ready to do... What do you guys want to do? You want to do some boxing? Thanks again to Hitman for that battle. Does you guys want to do some boxing? We won't have lag for sure. Stop downloading movies. Violent Riders Rumble? Thanks, Sipo. Do I remember the mod signing listen? Oh, I definitely remember the mod signing listen. So do you guys want to do some boxing? I think it's boxing time. Will's been waiting. People have been waiting. And why not, right? Why not? Let me just, uh... <laughs> yeah, Timmy says they take too long. Let's do uh, let's do some boxing, and then um, we could always move on over. We could do some uh, wrestling on the Xbox side. Hold on one sec. But yeah, we're still um, rocking and rolling here. Okay, so let me switch over. Hold on, let me um, switch. I won't ask you guys yet for your gamer tags. Thanks again, Hitman, for the battle, brother. Okay, so let's see here. So <laughs> I got my kids' games on right here. <laughs> You guys aren't seeing this, but I'm gonna load up Fight Night. And then I'm gonna ask you, if you wanna battle in some boxing. We got Cushman, um, Will Smooth, Muhammad Ali. Anybody else wanna Fight Night champion? Are we, yeah, it's, it's you have to, uh, Timmy, it's Can You Beat Fat Man 3000? Can you beat Fat Man 3000? Fat Man <laughs> is still on a... Oh, there's Shadow Snake over. Every time I see Shadow Snake, I get nervous, man. I get nervous. So, this is the challenge. Fat Man 3000 has been on a little bit of a winning streak. Can you take him down? Ricky, would you say you and Listen are 0-2 since even though the judges gave you a win? Yeah, I thought Listen won. Just here to watch. Best of luck. What's up? Um, thanks again, Mastermind. You were here earlier. I want You want on the UFC wheel? I like how we have some UFC people after watching the event. You know? People want to fight. Ricky J, are you still playing W? Yeah, so Boucher, we're going to be just kind of flip-flopping back and forth okay so don't you worry the good thing is I'm feeling so much better for all you guys that do not know man I, I had a huge battle with COVID and it was killing me and I was trying to be tough and it was so tough um, you probably heard it in the videos I was coughing my voice was out of whack I tried to live stream once and I was just dying man. it was so bad but I feel like I'm better now. You were di diagnosed with autism and Asperger's syndrome at 3 a.m. Considered an idiot in the in the mod modern day, but I got a LQ of 161. So if you need a list, I can make it. Nice, Kev. And you know what? That's always amazing seeing people overcoming certain things that they have to go through, you know? Way to go, brother. Congrats on the Rick Rude victory. Thanks, man. Anybody else want to get in on the uh, Fight Night Champion list? Can you beat? Can you beat Fat Man 3000? Eric says I have autism. Nothing wrong with having autism. Auti people with autistic, some people are the most creative people most loving, thoughtful people that you could ever meet. 
Did you have any previous COVID shots? Yeah, d -back. So I had like two shots and the booster. Can I talk like Karrion Cross? I don't even know who that is, Ricky. Have I... When are you... Play, we're playing Xbox One. We're doing uh, Fight Night right now. So we're going to do a spin. I do have lots of people always say I'm smart, but I don't really know. Oh, you are smart, man. Who is Batman 3000? He is the guy that people are having some tough times beating. So if it lands on you, you have to face Batman 3000. See if you could take down the beast. Of course you can. Brief construction. This is boxing. Most of the time I struggle talking to people. Yeah, you know... Do you guys get like this? It depends who you're talking to. You feel more comfortable talking to certain people. That's obviously all natural, all normal. Big Van World, this is boxing. You're just in time. Will Smooth says he could take him. I guarantee you can. Muhammad Ali, you have to fight Fat Man 3000. And I hate how people self diagnose with autism. To look quirky when people like me have it hard. Juice, no problem. We'll wrestle next week for sure. He is with Scarlett Bordeaux on SmackDown. That does TikTok to people. He went by Killer Cross. Oh, that's cool. It's cool to know. So we're doing boxing right now. We're going to spin this wheel. Here we go. Here we go. Can you? Hold on. Sorry. Can you beat Batman 3000? Here we go. Let's shuffle the deck. Three, two, one. Pet, boop, bah, yeah. And look who it is. Muhammad Ali. How about that? Muhammad Ali. You know, he doesn't get picked sometimes. He doesn't, he's not happy. But now, this guy is getting a chance. Here we go. Oh, you want to do middleweight though? Okay, we could do, you know what? We could, whatever you want to do, Muhammad Ali. This is the boxing wheel. So, Muhammad Ali wants to do middleweight. No problem, but after Muhammad Ali, it's gonna be Can You Beat Batman 3000? Okay? So, you wanna send the invite, Muhammad Ali? You could send the invite. You could send the invite, brother. Again, it's coming on here is for you guys, so if you really want middleweight, let's do middleweight. Are you intoxicated? Are you intoxicated? Are you intoxicated? Are you intoxicated? again! $20 Sipo! Please hang on to your cash, brother! He says, kind of funny story. Hold on, Sipo. I gotta, I gotta turn the music off. Kind of a funny story. The last time you were live, I donated so many different small accounts that my bank thought I got hacked. I had to call the fraud department and confirm that it was me using my card. Unbelievable. So, Sipo, please hang on to your cash, brother. Thank you very much for the donation. But please hang on to your money, Sipo. I'm telling you, as a as a true internet friend, don't make friends on the internet. But Sipo, just keep it, man. Thank you very much. But you know what? That's a good that's a good bank, you know, for them to let you know that they think that you're getting frauded with all the donations. That's a very good bank. Thank you very much, brother Sipo, for the donation. But I'm telling you. From a friend to a friend, just keep the cash, man. Use it in other ways, brother. <laughs> I appreciate your donation so much, man. But no more, Sipo. Please. I'm being serious. Please, no more, brother. <laughs> I don't want your money, man. I don't want your money, but thank you very much. Thank you very much. And again, that's a great bank. Don't be frustrated with the bank. Don't be frustrated with the bank. So we're waiting... For Muhammad Ali, so he's setting it up. He's definitely setting it up. And we're going to get this battle going on. 
And with Muhammad Ali, man, he knows my moves. He knows my uh, my zigs and my zags. So um, it's going to be pretty, pretty crazy here. It's going to be a great match, man. Brief Construction says, is anyone having trouble with downloading boxers from Boxer Share? Let's see. Look at this. I don't think it exists anymore. And I download my fair share of boxers. And I don't think it exists. If it does exist, I'm going to be so happy. I think they put it down permanently forever and ever. See, it's down. And I'll tell you, the reason why I bought an Xbox Series S was because I had a good friend... My buddy Marco has been playing Fight Night Champion forever. He's like, get an Xbox, Ricky, because the boxer share still exists. So I got an Xbox S, and then I downloaded all these custom boxers. And now, brief, to answer your question, it's down, man. Why? Why take it down? That was the best, one of the best parts of the game. Ah, oh, that is so bad. A little ziggy and a little zaggy, Joseph says. Can we rebel people as a civilian walking down the street rumble? Look at Timmy. He Timmy Hendrix is pretty crazy. I like that, though. Pretty original. Can we do one last 15 round? Well, whatever you want to do, Muhammad Ali. Again, I, I haven't met too many people that have the passion that Muhammad Ali has for boxing in general and for this game. Eric saying no 15 round. So here we go. Accept game invite. He wants middleweight. Who am I gonna use? <laughs> I'm gonna use Bruce Lee. Uh, Harry Potter, Arturo Gotti, Floyd Mayweather. I'm gonna use Floyd. Does anybody have bipolar? Who's he gonna use? Hagler? Hagler versus Floyd. It's good. 93 versus 93. You have the most passion for Fight Night? Everybody, Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and here welcome we to go. London, England. We're at the Thanks Royal again, London for being Theater here. Once for again, a much anticipated again. main event. 15 rounds in the middleweight Irving division. Saying, and the anticipation for this depression? bout has grown as the week has Irving gone has on. Bipolar. A lot of talk behind these two. Now What's up, it's sniper time wolf? to walk the walk. You know, for a second, Sniper Wolf, I thought you were the legend. SSS Sniper Wolf, and I have to get a double take, and I'm like, I can't be her. Actually, one in four people have mental issues. We went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's have a can't good clean me. fight. Oh, game audio too high. Thank up. you so You know what? I, I thought that. Here, here. How's that? How is that? Hope that's okay. And we are underway with round number one. Okay, let me fix my mic here. Teddy, the marvelous one, Marvin Hagler, has had the benefit of seeing so Sounds many better. Thanks again, Massive he Matt. He really has earned every inch of this PhD of boxing. What has he learned about facing a counterpuncher that's going to See how things go don't here. Be patient, you know, don't be over anxious. More <laughs> ways than one to skin a cat. Marvin Hagler, I think he's got that saying over his bed because he comes in with whatever he has to come for the event, for the moment. You know, he knows he's not just going to rush in there. He's going to maybe get the counterpuncher to come to him. I've seen Hagler where he'll box a little bit, get the counterpuncher to do something that he's not used to do and come forward a little bit. And then all of a sudden, he has the ability to counter the counterpuncher. Halfway through round number one. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by marvelous Marvin Hagler. Nice job there, hooking to the body. Interesting little start, not doing a lot of talking. <laughs> Hagler's yeah. way off the mark. That punch didn't have a chance. That counter punch was very effective. He's 
scored well. Nice work by Money. Just 10 seconds to go in this round. He just missed that shot up top. Good little round, good little round. And it just boggles the mind time and time we sit here ringside and we Yeah, it's ten, it's a, almost 11 where I'm at. Time. They're out there just going through the motions, not firing off punches. I believe no one is truly normal. You don't throw punches. I I agree with that. to win round. These rather better than EA offers in UFC. Isn't that crazy in this game? came out in uh, 2011 how's the sound how's the sound by the way is sound okay here we go round two is underway a crushing two punch combo by marvin hagler sounds perfect thanks icy boy you're a legend oh Exchange was something special. A good two punch combo by Marvin Hagler. Good right hand. A leveling uppercut by marvelous Marvin Hagler. If you could improve anything with Marvin Hagler, what would it be? There's not a lot there to improve. He's such a well-rounded Good package. technical he fight. fight with inside. He can fight outside, too. He has a great chin. He doesn't have great, great power, but he has really good power. Mayweather's doing a really good job of being defensively sound, of being nice. patient, and waiting for that golden opportunity for some offense to come in the mix. Well, that's exactly what he's doing. He's waiting for a mistake to be made. You know, he wants a lead out of his opponent right now so he can make a miss. And bang, come right back with that hook. He missed by a mile. That wasn't even close by Marvin Hagler. See what the judges are thinking after this next round. Again, he's got that slight reach advantage. I feel like we got that speed advantage. Just 10 Ooh. seconds to go here in this. I was close. Nice work with the combination. All right. And we come to the end of round. Whoops. Yeah, him took a screenshot by accident. <laughs> His accuracy was way off. Well, if you're All right, here we go. On the beach, you go out there with a metal detector. Well, right now, we need a punch. What? I uploaded that picture to the network. Detector. I don't want to do that. He needs a jab. To find them all. See how he targets that hook? Hands up, come on. Well targeted two punch combo by Marvin Hagler. Protecting his head well with his guard. Let's try to be he's being a little more aggressive. Again, he's doing such a good job with that reach advantage. Stand long. Nice work, nice work. Halfway through this round. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Hagler's giving his opponent headaches here now. He's throwing punches, but he's able to block them away. Yeah. Oh, only we had that reach. Very nice defensive guard there. Nice. Oh, that was a good one. Let's pretend we're hurt. Hagler's punch is far off the target. An accurate left by Marvin Hagler. Final 10 seconds. Okay, let's see who's 
Who's got these rounds? Butterbean versus Tyson? That would be cool, man. Wow, Hagler is destroying me. 10-8 round. Wow. He's been carrying this fight because he's just simply been the more active guy. Yeah, nobody's really landed a lot, to be honest. But when one guy's a lot busier than the other guy, he Wow, man. Out. Good for him. Off target with that hook. Teddy, why is it in boxing that there are so many distinct styles that are defined by geography or culture or ethnicity where we have a mexican style fighter oh. an eastern european you know upright fighter an american style fighter why is that because you are influenced by your surroundings by the temperament of the people He's doing just such a good job sticking to a game plan aggressive style very thoughtful people people that are very cerebral well you're gonna have a defensive style you're gonna have a very careful style. oh what's this he gets to him with an uppercut oh man he's in rough shape after absorbing that blow teddy explain this to me hey this fighter was just staggered and stunned now all of a sudden he's defending beautifully yeah because he's on instincts now wow Before he was thinking he was overthinking that happens out in life in a lot of places totally surprised by that now just naturally instinctively survival mode is there he's doing all the things though that he was taught in the gym things he couldn't do before because he was it's good for the old school. confidence he had too many things clogging his head targeting that one two Targeted left hand by Marvin Hagler. Ten seconds to go in the fourth. Man, it could have been our round. And that's the end of round <laughs> Kevin thinks Silva is going to smoke. Punches. I mean, there's just no way to sugarcoat Jake it. Paul? His accuracy isn't there. And there's a reason for it, Joe. His punches are the wide variety. And That'll be a great fight. What? They don't find the mark. How old's Anderson accurate. now? It's gotta be what? Forty-six. Trainer, crazy because he's leaving himself wide open with these sweeping shots. Well, you talk about that old saying, leaving the barn door open, and the horses are gonna go out. Well, guess what? The punches sooner or later they're gonna come in. Takes one, gives one. The right hand scores well. Oh. Hagler's almost out of it there. He was stunned. Mayweather's at his best. When the combinations are landing, he scored well there with that. Oh, oh man. How about this from Hagler? Moments ago, you swore he would have gone down. Now, you swear that he's steady on Wow. Feet. Halfway into round number five here. Money's just punching air that time. His opponent was able to get oh, out nice. of the way. Can't believe I stunned him twice, but great job on him. Recovering. Well placed right hand from both men. Oh, I tried for the big bomb. Oh, nice. Oh, boy. That was a great combo. Mayweather's missing the mark by a mile. That just was nowhere to be found. <laughs> that was a great job. Corner is telling him exactly oh. what they want to see in the next round. Remember, that last round, he was stunned. Hagler's trainer is telling him, hey, just stick with what you've been doing. Yeah, but what he was doing caused him to get rocked earlier. Yeah, sometimes you have to make it an adjustment. Now, they don't feel it's time yet, but that time's coming. It's coming quick. Oh, a nice two-punch combo by Marvin uh -oh. Hagler. Teddy, what would you recommend based on what we're seeing here tonight? Well, two aspirin and then go... Oh, no, actually, I would say a little counter-punching would be just what the doctor ordered. That's a better prescription for him. Nice work with the overhand right. Man, he's hurting us. Hagler 
Rivers putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. Got to get back to that uppercut, I think. Halfway through round six. Hagler swinging and missing like he's at bat right there. Oh. That punch was nowhere near his opponent. doing well here with that two punch combination he tried to nab him up top but was unable to connect I feel like he's just have more zip on his punches doesn't he he's still not moving enough come on now move move out of boy keep swinging baby. oh boy forth that hard work he did in training camp there landing a crisp combination i like that yeah. step back right there just enough needed to that one out of danger but still close enough to then lay in the counter punch. Well, that's what happens when you have that kind of experience. You're calm enough to know that range. Know where the beginning of the punch and the end of the punch is. Marvin Hagler's punch. All right. <laughs> I still feel like we're losing this. Here we go, seventh round already. Action to start the seventh round. Hagler's opponent lands. Try to go to the body. Counter punch right there. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Hagler's combination punching is working well here. Oh, nice. Why is his opponent struggling so much here? Why can he not land a clean headshot? Well, one reason is yeah, his opponent on. is moving his head. He's doing a good job of being elusive. Nice. But so fast, no Hagler. He's just throwing straight naked punches at him. He needs to make a little adjustment, a little adaptation. He needs to feint a little bit, get a false move, get him out of position, get him off balance, oh. and time him a little bit. He keeps just throwing at him. He's going to keep doing what he's doing, move air around. He returns the favor with a right hand of his own. Oh. Turns over that hook and he does damage upstairs. Uh -oh. oh, we're in some trouble. Wow, that was a good flurry by him. Probably won him the round. Again, that reach advantage is doing so well with it. Keep doing what you're doing. Look at that combination by Marvin Hagler. Coming towards the end of the seventh round, ten seconds to go. Oh, it's his round. Oh. He's won every single round. Oh man! He's won every single round. Just go out there and throw more punches. Yeah, and one other little thing that's not as simple, but it's very subtle, Joe. He's been moving his feet. You know, he's throwing punches, but he adjusts to where he has to. He's adjust. been in good position. Oh yeah, all the time. He's never out of position. Hagler's in a good rhythm defensively here. We're just in a hole, man. Kind of have to also, it's the teaching. take some chances. Credit. Of course, let's give his background of the amateurs credit, but he learned how to get away from punches. This is technique that was taught to him. A little something of his own. Blocks a shot, brings back the uppercut. Combo lands to the head. Uh-oh. Oh, man. I just can't seem to Mayweather's get off. He's just too good. Ninety seconds to go, halfway through round eight. Good job with the old one-two by Money. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. He's not able to land the headshot. A solid left hand by Marvin Hadwin. Just seems like the stronger 
the more skilled boxer. There's nothing I can do. Good combination to the body. I like how he cruises to the end of the of the round. Counting down here in round number eight. Ten seconds to go. Keeps oh. his hands up defensively Oh, good head. job. And this round comes to an end. Oh, good job. Position now where he should be able to bring home a win. If things stay the way they are, he's clearly headed towards a win. Yeah, I have my head on my scorecard, but he has to make sure he doesn't like in football go into that deep bad defense. If he starts just moving, just staying away a little bit. And the, now, the reach. The that were keeping his opponent from coming in that front door, well, guess what? They're not there no more. His opponent could get back into this fight. So accurate. Jab, uppercut So flowing with his combos. He's still not moving enough. That's it. Blocks the headshot. All right, there's an uppercut. Here. Defensively impressing us. I mean, it's so easy to say, wow, look at the punching, look at the power. But, Teddy, you got to appreciate what he's doing with defense. Yeah, well, that's one of the reasons. His defense you is amazing. You appreciate, you know, the aggression or the power and all these things. He can afford to be aggressive because he doesn't get hit. <laughs> A little head hunting with the right. He missed with that headshot. Man, he's really draining my health. There's a shot. Oh. Weathers hurt bad by a right hand. Well, he just went from hunted to hunter. And now he's going to Holy cow. <laughs> Good job. I just couldn't hang on. I got to take the eight count, people. I got to take the eight count to clear the old cobwebs. Wow, he was just so good. Throwing those combos, I couldn't run away. I couldn't run away. From the canvas may inspire him. Marvin Hagler is so dangerous with that accuracy. A two punch combination. Look at him. Oh. I don't know if he has enough time to recover. Last 10 seconds of the ninth round. Counters with a crushing blow to the head. Oh, <laughs> gave a cheap shot at the end. But I'm, uh, man, being outclassed, I'm using Floyd Mayweather, facing Muhammad Ali. And, uh, man, it's just a matter of time, people. But we got to try to continue to hang on. We got to try to continue to hang on. Where's Mickey in the car, on d -Max saying? Come on, look at Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali, what a gentleman. He's kicking my butt. And he's still cheering me on. Here we go. I was hoping Timmy would be 10 rounds to just stop the beatdown. But yeah, Muhammad Ali really wanted to make it 15, so... Sharp and accurate one two by Marvin Hadwin. Money's throwing lots of punches and not many are landing. But what's that old saying? Hey, you put enough out there, something's gonna stick. Well, at least he's controlling the rhythm. He's keeping control of the pace right now. And at least it's amazing how much stamina I have, but I just can't throw because. He keeps on hitting me. You know what I mean? Well targeted right hand by Money. Unable to land clean by Marvin Hadwin. Nice. Again, that reach is just it's too hot to handle. Ooh, yeah, too cold to touch, too hot to handle. by Marvin Hagler. Oh, 
Oh, he's confident. Counting down towards the end of the tenth round. Ten seconds to go. Oh, good job. Take my money and buy a snack. Thank you so much to Sipo. Massive Madison. Ricky's getting picked apart. You're so right, man. Eric's saying to headbutt him. Thanks again, Sipo. Oh, look at that. We got around. We got around. going out there and showing that he does have energy. Even though he's trailing on Teddy's scorecard by a significant margin or something? for 10 rounds. So you got to remind them if you're that man in the corner who's Thank you so much to Sipo. Good news and bad news. Good news. And I like that idea of headbutting him. D-Max saying go with the low blow. I may have to do it. Good when they raise the other guy's hand. Back to the head he goes. There's the head shot, but he parries it away. He's tired. He's tired, Jeff. Come on, now. Get out of the way from those punches. Move your head. On, he gets hit, but he gives it right back. Way to block. Yeah. Halfway through this 11th round. Oh, that was nice. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Money's using a lot of energy just by throwing so many punches, but he's not getting much out of all this effort at all. No, he's working much too hard. That's a good oh. thing. He's working really too hard for what he's getting done. He has to now start to educate himself, start to, you know, yeah. put those punches in the right spot. Oh, come on. Oh! Fundamentals, good counter punch. Nice mouse trap. They let him in beautifully. He didn't use G's. He used. <laughs> yeah, that's a good commentator. <laughs> nice mouse trap there. He didn't use G's. Not hitting his mark there. Going upstairs. Last ten seconds of this eleventh round. Wow. Is the Canelo fight happening now? He's tired. Look at him. He's so fucking tired. Tired? I got on full stamina. Listen to me. But he's uh, outclassing me here. He's outclassing me. We're running out of time. Try not getting hit. And then counter punch works every time. Thanks, Sipo. I'm going to do it, brother. I'm going to do it. Down and out. Muhammad Ali saying, you're washed up, Ricky. You have to. He's right. This guy's beat. He's so right. It's a Rocky Balboa moment. Can we turn it around? I don't know. Another round underway, but how many more will we see? You get the sense this fight could be heading towards a stopping. Excellent one-two by Marvin Hagler. Mayweather's defense. Is it ever good? Look at how easy he's able to block those punches. Gotta wait for him to open up and go with a nice little counter shot. Uh oh. Look at that. Jabs to the body. Marvelous Marvin blocks that away. Really good work right there, landing the two punches. Hitting him up with some shots. A good block by Marvin Hagler. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. I wonder what the gas tank is looking like. Jump on him, jump on him right now. What's the gas tank? He took a go of it to the body, but came up empty. He's tired. He's tired, Jeff. Come on, now's your chance. Still throwing like crazy. Gets rid of that body shot. Could oh. this be the start of a big comeback? He went from owning this fight 
Oh, down he goes at the buzzer! Down he goes at the buzzer! It ain't over yet, people! It ain't over yet! Oh, saved by the bell! Zach Screech and Kelly! King of comebacks. Thanks, Brief. I love you, brother. Oh. Here we go, Medge. What's up? <laughs> I need some water, quick. I need some water, quick. You keep your hands up. Don't worry now, right? I just I need you to focus. I need some water, quick, brother. Muhammad Ali said he let he let me knock him down. What a gentleman. What a class act. I love you, man. I don't know why we're fighting. I love you, man. I don't know why we're fighting. Let's see if he tries to get it back. I'm gonna just chill a little for a second. That's the reward you get when you have a good camp and you get yourself in top shape. Sound defense. Good block that time by Money. There's another right hand. Oh, come on. Oh. Gotta be careful. Gotta be careful. He's always so deadly in the opening round or opening minutes of each round. Oh, thanks for the sub, brother. Yeah. Money's defense is now serving him well. Nice job blocking that punch. Nice. Way to hit the target there. Jab uppercut. Oh, we both thought the same thing. Accuracy an issue there. Didn't land that straight right hand. Yeah. Oh, down he goes! With the missile! With the missile! But time ain't on our side, brother! Time ain't on our side! Oh my gosh! Oh, he's so good! He's so good, he cuts right up! Absorbing a hook. Oh. He gives as well as he takes. You saw it on that exchange. Marvin Hagler's doing what every trainer wants to see their fighter do. Trying to get it back. Land punches and punches. The combination lands. Oh, we get the round. I don't think it'll be enough, Joseph. As positive as I'm positive, if that made any sense. We've dug ourselves such a deep hole that I really feel like we need to finish, big boy. Well, that's okay. You can't win them all. Thank you so much, Muhammad Ali. It's been a great fight, brother. Can't win them all, man. Hagler's searching for something different as this round starts here. He's been down numerous times tonight, including the last round. Nice defense. Good block by Marvin Hagler. Great work offensively landing that combination by Money. Able to get rid of that one. Another flush shot up top. Tried to nab oh. up top, but was unable to connect. Hagler's defense is paying off now. Right back with some what a great fight. Oh, some is intoxicated. Thank you so much, Kev. I'll read it after the, after the round, brother. He was knocked down earlier, 
So now he's going to try to take a different course. Oh. Now, that tells me, if I'm his opponent, a couple of things. Either that he's very clever, that he's making a little switch, or it just gives me confidence that he's desperate. You know, he's never done this before. And Unbelievable. Mind, Good job. Right where I want. Oh. Nice block by Marvin Hagler. Oh. Hagler's coming through now beautifully. That's the combination punching he wants to put forth. Jump on him, jump on him right now. Count down the final moments of this round. Good combination by Marvin Hagler. Oh, that, what a great comeback round. Thank you so much. Says, to Kevin end. says, Beer Rumble 1, Bud Light 2, Coors Light 3, Fosters. Thank you so much. Generation Lost says, need more likes. Holy cow. Thanks, Kev. This is it. I feel, I feel like we need a stoppage to win. Otherwise, he has no chance of winning this fight. Taking it to the limit, they are the 15th and final round. Focus now. I need you to focus more. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by marvelous Marvin Hagler. Keep moving. Keep moving. Come on. Missed that uppercut. Fires right back at him. Wow, look at that trading shot. I gotta go after him. It's killed or be killed, you know what I'm saying? Mayweather's work in training camp is now paying off. Do you see the accuracy and the effectiveness with that combination? A nice block by Money. To the head he goes with a left hand. Oh. Hagler's oh. almost looking foolish that time he missed so bad. Nice. He's using that reach again. Oh, that was nice. I can't seem to get in. A good block. Oh, thanks so much. Good block by Marvin Hagler. Let's go. Super two punch combo by Money. Nice work, the left hand to the head. Oh, good fight, brother. From start to finish. I just don't think we had enough. He totally won on the cards. We create a little drama. But Muhammad Ali was just fantastic. And there you have it, people. GG's the Muhammad Ali. It was a super technical fight. Loved the way he was using his reach. Conserving that energy right to the final bell. And all love and respect to him. Holy cow. We had our moments, though. We had two 10-8 rounds. <laughs> oh, but we just... <laughs> Cave up a little short, man. We cave up a little short. We got the Canelo fight. Yeah, it's coming up, man. It's coming up. That was a great fight, man. Totally amazing. And Muhammad Ali is just so good. So good at using that range. Picking his spots. Using those great combos, man. And he got me good. What a battle. What a battle. GG's Muhammad Ali. And much love to him. We wanted to hug instead of fight, but sometimes bros got to fight for the entertainment, man. For the entertainment. But all respect and love to Muhammad Ali got me. And he was a well-deserved victory for sure. Holy cow. <laughs> what a fight. <laughs> what a fight. Now we're back to the fat man. The good news is fat man is still undefeated, but David Wilson's right, man. Muhammad Ali is a legend. And we've had some wars on this channel, and that was probably my favorite fight that we've had so far, but great fight. Thanks so much, Barnes. He says, great fight, Ricky. First fight I've seen for months. Yeah, it's, it was just so tremendous. And, um, you know, you could have fun 
obviously when you win and obviously you can have fun when you lose and i had such a great time and a losing effort came up just a tad short um but it was great man muhammad ali says great fight i got a bit confident in the later rounds and you got the knockdowns but ggs man but great on you man for using those combos but um you had that slight reach and you used it to perfection and not a lot of people are able to do that and and you did man so respect to him holy cow but the good news is the fat man is still undefeated so we're gonna move on over the wheel after that just a tremendous fight great performance by muhammad ali but if anybody else wants to join the wheel can you beat fat man 3000 and the good news about fat man not too many people have a reach like mr 3000 does but let me know if you guys want to get on the wheel thank you so much ice i see you i see boy for being here man not for long spar wants to fight fat man all right we ready P big so i have big van world on the wheel uh ali is one of the best yeah that definitely for sure that was so fun man when I got those two, when I got the second knockdown, I'm like, is he going? Sometimes if you make a mistake, when you're nervous, it's hard to recover. But uh, when you get knocked down a second time, if you make a mistake, it's tough to get back up. But I'm like, is he gonna, is he gonna choke? Is he gonna choke? But he did. <coughs> so right now we're still on fight night. Okay, we ready to spin on fight night? And then we're gonna do, we'll do WWE on the Xbox side. Okay, AC. So let's do another spin here. We got to get Fat Man some airtime. So here we go. So I'm going to pause things up. Again, we're going to face off against Fat Man 3000. Here we go. So Timmy's on the list. We're going to shake things up. I want to see Fat Man in action. Massive Matt. I don't know if you've seen him, Matt. But he is, he's beautiful. Fat Man 3000. Here we go. Three. Two, one. Again, thank you so much, Muhammad Ali, for a great battle, brother. Much love. Here we go. Uh oh, it's Will Smooth. And this guy's amazing. As Kevin with the donation. Kevin says, Family Guy is hilarious. Should I do a Family Guy Royal Rumble? All Family Guy? Thank you so much, Kev. For the donation, brother. God bless Ricky and the fam. Gotta go. Thanks, DMAC, for being here. But, Kev, do you want to see a Family Guy Royal Rumble? That would be pretty interesting. But it's Will Smooth. Or something? There is GSP. But thank you very much to Kev. Love that spin music. Alex Ortiz. Bit, boom, ba. Bit, boom, blip, blip, blip. Okay, Will. Do we got to meet it in the lobby or I think we're friends. Will, what's your gamer tag? See you later, DMAC, baby. What is, uh, what is this gamer tag? Can't be Will Smooth. We're going to do 10 rounds, by the way. Let's see here. All right, Ricky, I'll be back. I'm going to go watch that fight. No problem, Muhammad Ali. And again, thanks so much for the battle. And congrats on the epic win. And I... Hey, what's up, Ron? Family Guy and I play as Evil Monkey? <laughs> I could do that, man. What's Will... Will, what's your uh, gamer tag? I think it's this, actually. Let's see. I'm going to type it in the chat. The main, the main event for Fight Night was Corey Sanhagen versus Song. Uh, Will, what is your ga uh, yeah, gamer tag? Love you, Ricky. Hi, Ron. Greatest name ever. Ron Plunkett. Okay, it's good. That's him. Okay, so we're going to send him the invite. And again, this guy's a beast in the game. He is a monster at this. This is way too fun. So I sent him the invite. Where's uh? Hold on. Where is Massive Matt? Matt. 
So Matt, let me show you. <laughs> I'll show you Fat Man 3000. Is the goat Ali my son? No. I wish I had a son, but no, I do not. Morgan Freeman. What's up, Southern boy? Chuck Norris. The Hulk. Jo Anthony Joshua. Anderson Silva. The Undertaker. Okay, where's Fat Man? I, I don't know. I think Fat Man is actually 100 overall. So there's Fat Man 3000. Fat Man. So I'm hoping he picks 100 overall as well. Is he going with the Hulk? Check day Cooney. 96 overall. What's the Hulk versus Fat Man? You gotta use Rampage? You saw Rampage Jackson? Massive Matt says, what a work of art. What a work of art. <laughs> His Fat Man. Wait till you see him. No one, Eric, could beat Fat Man up in real life. Nobody. He's six foot eight. You can't reach his head. I'm Joe Tessitore, alongside you can't Atlas, reach that head, brother. We welcome you to the New Orleans State Palace Theater Here we go. for our main event. Ten rounds of heavyweight action. This should be a good one. Oh, the they're not fighters. doing the walkouts? It's too bad, man, because Massive Matt would have loved the walkout of Fat Man 3000. You think it's the 4th of July, baby? Oh, man, I'm telling you, Will Smooth, look at that record. Tremendous record. And I don't play ranked. Jolly Ropper is saying, what a specimen. A specimen. I don't play ranked, man. So to have a record like that is incredible. Okay, we went over the rules in the dressing room. This Let's may end quick and not <laughs> for my favor. <laughs> Here we go. Fat man, look at those shorts. Massive Matt. defensively by the beast from the east plus he landed that counter punch yeah and he forced him to punch he made him he drew it out of him and then he timed him beautifully committing to the combo now both land good job good job it's coming up my 100 miles an hour to protect the midsection able to defend and then go on the offensive Wow, what an uppercut. Able to lock in that target and bring it home well. One or two more of those, it'll be the end of the night. Batman's quick. To go here in this round. The beast is doing exactly what you should to be a strong defensive fighter. You gotta block those punches away. Really a lot of consistency from him with the right oh. hand. And now he's targeting upstairs. Accurate uppercut after taking a shot of his own. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Nice solid left hand scored by the I love how he rips the to the body like that. Good defensive skill. Oh. Well, he's got the oh, he's hurting. Stick, he's hurting fat man. And they both do. Oh, that was so his round. Fat man's getting hurt. The beast is probably sitting back right Fat man's now. getting hurt. Figured out coming off of a sensational round you just saw. He was able to do some serious damage to his opponent. Yeah, you know what really did it was that left hook to the liver, that body shot. You know, that's like going into a restaurant, you get a stain on your jacket, you know, and the stain just doesn't come out. You know, you go to your cleaners, it's still there. Those body shots, they don't come out. They stay with you round after round, and they keep doing damage. They keep paying off for you. He's got the benefit of that body work on for him. Good, solid shots with the combo downstairs. Good looking counter punch. You're gonna try to go to the body. Comes right back with a shot of his own. He's good with that head movement. Half 
halfway through this round here. See, he's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. Up top with the right hand. Right to the body. He took a shot. Continue to plant those right hand of his own. shots down low. Blocked by the beast from the east. He comes with the straight right hand. Oh, good exchange there. A well placed, gutsy uppercut after being tagged. Final 10 seconds of round number two. Wow, his head movement is so good. The beast is going with a very his head movement so good. Last round. He chose his spots carefully, Teddy. Yeah, that's what I like. And look at her stamina is getting zapped. Supposed to be looking for, you know, not just be overtaken by a guy just going out there like a mad hatter and just throwing. Timmy has a fighter for strategically putting them in the right spot. Good job. And now he's acting like a fighter. Coming back with the right hand after getting scored upon. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. You're still not moving enough. Move, move. You need to keep that head moving. Gotta keep on trying to go to that body. He's got that head movement you got to respect. Don't stay in one spot. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. See that? Right on the mark, double jab. Oh. Very accurate with the overhand right. So he decides to go. Wow, what a moment. On, and it's a good little moment. That decision later on. Well, it tells you that he's a well-prepared fighter. Sorna came in here with a good game plan. They understood what they had in front of him. A guy that's going to move a little bit. Start going downstairs, taking the air out of the tires, and later on, he'll be in front of you. Work the body. And yet another right hand lands. Hopefully these body shots are going to help us. Hopefully they are a good fight so far. Willis showing Fat Man what's up. I know, Massive Matt. Great fight. Thank you so much, Ron Plunkett. You got this, Ricky. Make him dive in five. I don't know about that, Ron. He is a legend, this guy. He is a legend. Well, at least we got a round. Thanks again, Ron. For believing in me. Nice combination. Landing more than one. Both were able to score. The beasts left now getting into the mix. Good job fighting from the outside. Again, this head movement has forced us to go down low. He takes a shot and then commits to giving one right back. It's forced us to go down low. I would assume there has to come a point in this fight where he has to make the commitment to throw the power punches. It's hard to envision a way he's going to win this fight without going down that road. He doesn't have the confidence to do it. I don't know if he's mentally strong enough to do it. I think he's worried about throwing off wow. the guy because... Those Maybe swooping shots to the body. To I could out. feel them. <laughs> Poor fat man. He brings an uppercut that really does damage there. Good combination by the beast. 
The Beast's way off the mark. That punch didn't have a chance. Nice work with the uppercut. Yeah. Punching, landing both shots. That was a good little ending to the round. Oh, that wasn't. <laughs> oh, that was. Oh. Beautiful. I want another round exactly like that. This is some tough competition tonight. Complete control of this fight. 23 Cleveland, 24. Oh, what's Cushman saying? What are you guys saying over there? Here we go, fifth round. Now in what has been a closely contested fight, one of those fights that somebody is still waiting to break through and be a difference maker in. See him trying to cut down that tree with a well placed right hand, and now he's targeting upstairs. That's classic work with the double jab. Gotta keep on going to that body. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. Right, do it. A very crisp combination by the Beast. Yeah. The Beast is being so very effective. Punching in combination. And that's what you want. He's got pretty good hand speed. Might as well use that hand speed. No better way to use it than putting them together. Still plenty of time Trying to go to that body from a distance. Bet Midler. Anybody know who Bet Midler is? From the east. Boy, that worked out well with the uppercut. Accurate shot. Straight right hand comes in. Solid uppercut. Got to be accurate to send the combination to the body, and he does that. Uppercut, he took advantage, throwing it out there. Final 10 seconds of this fifth round. Interesting round. What's up, Joe? Ricky used the one two to the body. Lead uppercut. We got to distract him. Somebody's got to throw peanuts at, at the back of his head. It's kind of like going to watch that home run contest. Nobody's trying to hit singles or doubles. You know they're all going for the fences. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. Oh, what an exchange. Parries that punch away. Putting his punches together, landing two shots there. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Targeting that belt line with the right hand. He's completely turned his offense off. You can see that he's just in an extreme oh. defensive posture. But still, his opponent is scoring here. Look, the extreme Look what the fat man's doing. Problem. But if he was moving his head with his hands up, at least there'd be misses there. When his opponent would miss, there'd be an opening to come back where even if you didn't come back, his opponent would be a little worried about sitting in there on you. He'd have to think defense. Right now, he's only thinking offense. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Oh. He digs yeah. in with an uppercut after blocking that shot away. There's a straight right hand. The intensity's picking up. Well done that time, landing the counter punch. The beast is landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. Oh, so quick. He got hit 
But he sends it right back. What a nice combo by the beast. So quick at recovering. Working our way towards the bell. Last 10 seconds of the sixth. He just missed that shot up top. Unbelievable, Fat Man. Very close and highly competitive fight. I think Fat Man's just, I feel like I'm being outskilled here, man. Just by a little. Just by a little. If you finish up good, the judges remember that. Doubling up that jab, it serves him well to the body. Step to the side and then lands the counter. Yeah, disappear on him, and then all of a sudden appear on him. Solid left hand to the head. Oh. Zoning in on that gut. Combination punch downstairs. Oh. He scored well after being hit himself. The Beast is really doing a fine job here, Teddy. I know everybody falls in love with the clean, effective punching, but you can make an argument that he's controlling this fight right now thanks to his head movements. Yeah, you know, oh, definitely. What, what great commentary. About the old great Willie Pep, the will of the wisp. There was a legend that he actually won a round without throwing a punch just by making his opponent miss, just by ring generalship. Good effective work with that straight right hand. Let's see some more head movement. Oh. Oh. Right to the belt line. Good job with another left hand. Oh, boy. Is the round over yet? <laughs> Is the round over yet? Thanks again, Sipo. Sipo says he's got to go. Thank you very much, brother, for your generosity for being here. Nice combination. Throwing Are more than one. Both the or 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 there. Thanks again, brother. Ten seconds remaining in this round. Oh, man. And that's the end of round Thanks seven. again. Have a good one, Sipo. Man, fat man. Let's look at Teddy's. Wow, we're up by one. What? What? But if you've been watching this, I don't believe this. Anything still can happen here. So his opponent is a real tough guy. He doesn't get this. I'm gonna go back to the body. He used to come with a fast pace. Unbelievable. You never, never count out. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. A little something for his opponent after getting tagged. Oh, big shot. Crashes home with the uppercut. Can't work in the body. That's a uh -oh. big right hand. He was stunned. Now he's oh, no. Down goes Batman. Oh, no. Oh, no. The drama. This isn't good. Now we're. Man, that was so clutch by him. Oh no. Sorry, Massive Matt. He gets up after that punch. Put him down on the canvas. Now he needs to get on that bicycle and stay away from this guy. Good defense just covering up down low. That worked out really well. Throwing off the right hand after getting tagged like that. Oh man, the Hulk is just so tough, isn't he? Back to the body. Good job on the two punch combo by the beast. Oh, great round by Will. So clutch. Oh, unable to score with the uppercut that time. I don't like this at all, Teddy. I mean, it's one thing to stand toe to toe. It's another thing to never even move. You got to show some movement. Maybe he's breaking down. Maybe he's already spit the bit. You know, 
If he falls down, everybody wow. is going to know that he let himself fall He's up, man. He's Call him 3000. YouTube doesn't like fat man. That's right. It's going to get uh, it's going to get flagged. <laughs> Call him 3000. <laughs> See you later, Doug. D oh, good night. Oh, I thought Doug Dills was leaving. Double D's is not. Here we go to the ninth. Real good sign for him right here. He's coming out and looks fresh. He's up on his toes and boxing the way he was. That after a round in which he was knocked down. Yeah, that's about DNA. That's about genetics. I mean, he has good recovery skills. That's it. Targeting the uppercut, and it worked. That was so smart on Will to take advantage of that. You know, the flop animation. Knock me down. Oh, oh. Solid right hand land. What? How smart is he? And another jab. In and out. In and out. Smooth's got the moves. That's his name. Don't wear it out, brother. Levels low, he's a battered fighter. Wow. What is the answer right now for him? Maybe the answer right now is for his corner to be compassionate, to be responsible, and be ready to stop this fight. He gets off with a combination up top. Little head knocking with that right hand. Holy cow. Oh, is Fat Man gonna survive this? Right hand. Boy, is this a wow! Fat Man survived it. This is it. This is the last round. This is the last round. Oh no! How does it just end like that? What just happened? What just happened? Oh no! <laughs> Fat man! Fat man, what happened? He just shut off! Will Smooth got the light switch and just turned him off! <laughs> what just happened? I came in with my guard up and Will Somebody's got to check his gloves. Because that was the greatest knockout I think I've ever seen in this game. Unbelievable. How did that happen? Ron Plunkett is saying, calling shenanigans. <laughs> no, that's just some skill right there. What a great fight. <laughs> GG's to Will. Wow, the fat man finally goes down. In dramatic fashion. And I don't know what the fat man streak was. I think he was like uh I think he was like six or seven and oh. But the fat man goes down. I like that. Rick um Eric saying Ricky just got RKO'd. Why can we not see the replay? Oh my gosh, that was beautiful. And I was on the receiving end of that. Can you believe that? <laughs> Can you believe that? <laughs> but um if you have to think about it, though, I needed a stoppage to win the fight. So uh, I'll take it. I'll take that loss. But that was, well, obviously, you got to take it. There's no other reason. But that punch just came out of nowhere. The sound of the bell happened. And then he just came out with a big bomberoni. And down we went. GG's to Will Smooth. Look at that, man. That was... That was impressive. And when it happened, you know what you could tell you're really into a game? When you get knocked out or something bad happens in the game. Let me know if this has happened to you guys. But I actually felt it in my chest. 
like I was wearing like a VR like vibrating chest because my chest <laughs> kind of like vibrated and uh, and then fat man just couldn't get up man come on fat man you got to get up you got to get up you got to give us a chance but um, if you're on the receiving end of that shot I don't think anybody's getting up after that but what a great fight so we are gonna switch to wrestling on the Xbox can you believe that after getting beat up a little in boxing, we're now going to lace up the wrestling boots and uh, do that. And I just want to say thank you so much to Will Smooth on the epic fight. Great win, man. Great win. So here we go. Did you know how to do underhook clinch in UFC 4? I'm not too sure, OG. But double Ds, it is wrestling time. Thanks again to Will and um, we'll definitely do it again, man. We'll definitely do it again. Holy cow. That was great. Let's add some music here. Let's add a little music. Hold on one sec. Wow. Okay, I'm going to uh, now ask you guys. After getting knocked out. Eric Irving is setting up the match. Does anybody else want to get in on some wrestling for the Xbox? Okay, so we are now moving on to the Xbox side. Okay, oh yeah, William. Here we go. Miles7072. Um, I got to write this stuff down. I got to write this stuff down. Flying to the danger zone. That is right. So if anybody wants to do some xbox wrestling let me know and i'll add you to the wheel let's see here dang it missed the playstation one we did the playstation one in the beginning man it was tough which hey ricky play maybe as finn baylor i always say his name ryan braxton how do you say his name we got big van world Will says, that was an awesome fight, and you made my night. Will, man, you deserved every positive vibe coming your way. You fought a fantastic fight, and holy cow. The Hulk was the ultimate kryptonite for Fat Man 3000. Because the big man, he was taking out guys left, right, and center, but when you're facing the Hulk with a talented guy like Will Smooth, it's going to be tough to get the victory, but what a great fight, man. Holy cow. So anybody else want to get in on some wrestling on the Xbox side? Fat man don't like green vegetables. Hey, what's up, Brian? That's kind of true. <laughs> that is too funny. Let me get some water here. Hold on one second. So if there's not... <clears throat> What are we playing it on, Eric? Are we doing Xbox Series S? You're on UFC? We'll get to UFC, hopefully. This is um, wrestling. Xbox One, Eric? Okay, we're going to do it on Xbox One. Okay, so we're doing... Wrestling on Xbox One. Let's do this. You gonna play as Karrion Cross for sure, man. If you want me to do it, Ricky, I am going to do it. So it looks like it's gonna be Miles and Big Van World. Thank you so much, Massive Matt, for being here. I gotta bounce, Ricky. It was great watching your stream for the first time. I'll be back to the next one. Thanks, Massive Matt. Sorry I couldn't get the W in boxing, man, but um, those were tremendous losses. <laughs> oh, Cushman. Okay, so what we're going to do is uh, maybe if Eric could get Miles, Big Van, Cushman, and myself in one match. Can we do that? Let's see if we could do that here. Play as the man, the myth, the legend, Dr. Death, Steve Williams. Look at this. There's nobody. Wait, I'm on Xbox One. 
Did Eric set it up? So nobody's playing this game on Xbox One. There's no games on. I created a Canadian Skinny Man 3000 for Fat Man and Ricky. Where is Canada? Are you from? Oh, Timmy. So I'm from Toronto. Oh, there's the Funkasaurus. So if you want to... Here, let me show you guys. If you want to join, so Miles, Big Van, and Cushman, please come. Here, I'll show you. So what are we doing? This is Hell in a Cell tag. What? He's got a 99 overall? He's got a 99 overall. Thank you, Will. Great fight, man. That made my night. Thank you so much for the donation. And I'll tell you what right now, Will. Holy cow, you deserve that, man. You know, some people, they lose and they feel like they've been, you know, shortchanged. I felt like I gave everything I got. And even Fat Man, Are you Are you intoxicated? he came in, what was that, the ninth round, was it? And he had nothing left either, and you gave him one shot, and that was that. That was crazy, man. Okay, wait, all these guys... Oh, man, I, I just have the regular version of this game. So I gotta pick a 90 overall, but thanks again, Will. And we'll get another battle in soon. Sooner than later. Look, I can't even use the rock. Roman Reigns. Should I use Roman Reigns? I gotta size up with these 100 overalls. <clears throat> Who else do we got? See, all these guys are grayed out. So we got to get Cushman in there, Funkasaurus. Welcome, everyone. Oh, uh, can you guys hear Funkasaurus? Can you guys hear Funkasaurus? He just said something. Funkasaurus is the yeah, man. Hello, everyone. I'm gonna go with uh, I'm gonna go with Roman Reigns just because I feel like I have to match up with. Okay, you hear him? Oh, thanks, Alex. Ven, you got the. This is for Xbox One. Xbox One. Oh, it's like a faint voice. Okay. I'm using the exact yeah. card that was in the subscriber Xbox rumble. Here, I could turn the sound up a touch. The man, the myth, the legend. Funky is in the house. That's right. That's so cool how William's using the guy from the created uh, from the subscriber rumble. Yeah, Funky. Thanks so much, Lamore Gecko, for being here. He's got to go, man. All the best, brother. Okay, so who are we waiting on, I wonder? Wait, hold on. You hear him perfectly? Okay, that's cool. Let's do this. So are we just waiting on Cushman? This is my actual look at what, as well. That is so cool. So it's like true to life. I was hoping that somebody that was... Are we waiting on Cushman, by the way? I was hoping the guy, somebody that looks like their real life self would win that rumble. But that's okay. That is all good. Eric's Come done on, waiting. Come people, hurry up. Christ's sake, join. Is Cushman join? Let's see here. So what are the rules? <sighs> okay, I'm gonna hit... I don't think Cushman is joining. More. 
confirm. Here we go. Here we go, brother. Here we go. Oh, here oh comes there he the is. There's man man. himself. So it's myself, Funkasaurus, AJ. Against Cushman, Miles, and Graded. Okay, come on, Funkasaurus. You need, we need you to carry our team. <clears throat> Cushman joined the dark side. <laughs> nah. There we go. Come on, join, but I don't have to pick someone. Who are we don't waiting waste on? Don't Funky's time. Who are we waiting on? Are we waiting on me? Are we waiting on me? Oh no, we're waiting on Cushman. <clears throat> this should be interesting, double B. <clears throat> Cushman cycling through. How is Gordon Ramsay a 94 overall? I know they gotta change that. When I do my rumbles, AC, I uh, make sure to tweak the ratings so they, you know, are All right, here accurate. we go, everybody. Here we go, people. So it's myself. Holy, how, how is a tag team Hell in the Cell tag team? What are the rules, Funkasaurus? What are the rules? <laughs> Tell us the rules. It's about two out of three falls. It's two out of three falls, and uh. Okay, it's best two out of three. Look at that image. Dude, you're covering Ramsey, brother. You're covering Ramsey. Ryan Rule says it's going to be chaotic. I have a feeling you're right. It's Alex Jones. Coming here to fight the globalists. <laughs> His muscle mass is covering Ramsey. He's just way too big. Here we go. Here we go. Do you got your Cracker Jacks? Are you ready? You got Mario, William Boucher, and Brock Lesnar. Yeah, I'm ready. Good thing you're using uh, Roman. <laughs> I know. I got it. He's 90. What is he? 95 overall? <laughs> Here we go. Oh, it loaded. Yes. Here it is. Hell in the cell. And there's the big man. Oh, shit. Yeah, oh no somebody skipping. skipped it. Somebody skipped it. Better not. Pause the music. Everybody put your tinfoil hat on. That's the tank. That's the tank. Oh, come on. Let's get to that. Oh, we really wanted to see the All intros. Right, whatever, fine. I know. Go ahead, skip it. What are the chances of YouTube removing this whole video? Because, uh, well, the thing is, the good news is brief construction. I um, unlist this stream. So you won't see the stream after this. <laughs> but it it's all good. <sighs> okay, here we go. Here we go, AC baby. 
Cushman saying, oh no, don't worry, it's gonna load. It's gonna load. The Xbox is trying to load the game. There we go, it's gotta happen. Leaving us in suspense. Your game crashed? Uh oh. Let's see here. Saying his game. Xbox says no way, Andrew. That's really funny. Oh no, all these people are leaving. No! They're dropping like flies. Okay, so how do I like... Okay, hold on. Okay, let's try that again. That's so funny. I'm gonna reload it. Um, okay, so I gotta close it. They heard about Alex Jones. <laughs> they closed it. <laughs> okay, let me quit it. We'll go and try it again. Canadian import duties are taking people out, Ricky. <laughs> you gotta pay your import duties. You ain't paying for it, brother. It ain't gonna happen. It's permitted if it... Yeah, so I don't know. Um, but I was told that it's best to unlist your live streams after they're done so that's why you don't see the live streams when they're you don't see them in my library of videos but i don't know i'm kind of on the fence of of like keeping them so i unlisted like a i don't know if you guys noticed but i unlisted probably like the last 10 of them you could still view them if you have the link yeah yeah, you can still view them if you have the link. We're going to try uh, the wrestling again. Let's see if it loads up. Look at this. There's nobody that has a game ready. That's how you could see that nobody plays this game for Xbox One. There's Funkasaurus. Braxton saying use Finn Baylor. The only thing, Braxton, if I don't use a 95 overall guy, Funkasaurus is going to yell at me, brother. And Finn's only an 87. I could just go by alphabet. So. All right, who are you picking? You gotta pick someone See, wicked strong, you. Ricky. See, I told you. What did I say? How's Roman Reigns? All right, nice. Okay, where's Cushman? Uh oh. Sorry, Braxton. Champ Braxton. Uh, who do I want to pick? Wait, where's Cushman? Is Cushman not in on this? Uh, who, who are these people? Wait, 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 wait. We gotta get Cushman in there. And I forgot William Boucher as well. We need William Boucher. We need William Boucher and Cushman in there. These guys gotta go. There's Cushman, now we just need William. We need William. Uh, kick. Just leave it for to Funkasaurus, he's got it. Okay, there's Cushman. Who's Cushman using? 
Sir Chattel. Dude, Alex Jones all the way have him in one of your official rumbles. Bobby Boucher. I think they're here. No, we don't have Williams. William Boucher. I see him. Oh, there he is. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. All right. Here we go. Let's hope this works. Funkasaurus has moved over to the Great Kali. Yeah. Here we go. Let's see. Let's hope it loads. Come on. Please load. Please load. Sometimes they'll tease you. I don't want to jinx it. I'm not going to say it. I ain't gonna and, say. And, uh, don't skip the entrances, people. <laughs> this is way too fun. Way too fun. We're uh, nearing um, three hours already. I can't believe it. I can't believe we're at three hours. Funky will try to send us to victory. So it seems like it's downloading everybody's created wrestler. Double B says GG's. As we are waiting. In anticipation. Yeah, why does this game take so damn long? Hello. <laughs> Who's taller, Kali or Andre? That's a good question. I would say the great Kali. I think he was like 7'3. Could be wrong. So while this is loading, do we have any UFC players out there? Oh, it is loading. Do we have any UFC players out there? We all know this oh my there God. We go. Made right away, what? Oh my gosh, this is wild. What is this? We're going after Cushman. I'm Roman Reigns, by the way. Uh oh. I'm gonna turn oh, off my music in just a sec. I'm there I go. Oh, damn it. Get the fuck off of me, bitch. Fuck you. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's fucking work. Uh oh, guys, Cushman coming after me? Hey, Ricky, where'd you go? Okay, I'm coming, I'm coming. I gotta help out Cushman. What? You can't take when you're on the ball. Who's my partner? Oh, yeah. Oh. So I'm uh, Roman Reigns, by the way. We're going after. Yeah. yeah. Bitch ass. Man. Oh, everybody's going after Boucher. Oh, oh no. Their ass. Absolutely. 
that you've ever seen great volley do this. Oh, he got right. Oh, right on Boucher's head. <laughs> the squash. Oh. <laughs> this is... Oh. Where's their fourth guy? Oh, that's yeah. Cushman. Look at, look at Cushman. I mean, look at Fungosaurus. Wait, where's he going? I need Nobody help. Can stop old Funky in this match. I'm the greatest fucking WWE player. Help me, Fungosaurus. <laughs> you better know it. You know it. Push knows it. Ricky knows it. There we go. This whole fucking stream knows it. That fucking is the greatest ever. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, I got you. So if you're wondering what the teams, it's myself, the great Kali, Brock. Yeah. Look, all three of us. Are going, <laughs> all three of us are going after him. This isn't fair. Yeah. Oh. I just tripled yeah, you. <laughs> He's getting <laughs> poor Cushman. That's Cushman. Oh, there comes William Boucher. Where is there? Where is there? Look at the pool cue. Well, I take a trip to the end of the cave. Come Rocky. Oh, nice. Oh, there's a new member. Who could it be? Thank you so much, whoever that is. Oh, hell no. This ain't going to be too long one. As we yeah. are double teaming poor yeah. William Boucher. I got to help out. Yeah. Oh, it's JG, sir. What's game. good, brother? I'm still good at the Watching nice the Canelo game. fight. And we're live streaming. Thank you so much, Jay. And I always say, please check out his channel. Jay Jeezer, the OG of this channel. He's been supporting this channel forever. Yeah. Thank you very much, Jay. What do you think of that? I don't know who Kush is, but he's, oh, he's is... going to get thrown through the cage. This is Kushman. Come on, Kush, where are you? Oh, we say no way to him. Oh. Hope all's well, Jay. Ricky, throw him into the side of the cage. He'll be able to get out on top of it. That was the oh, right he's, 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 <laughs> Help me! Funk! Oops, Funk, you gotta help! Back oh. oh. Well, we say no way to him. Yeah, Reggie throw him in the cage. Oh, sorry. There we go. Let's double team him. Oh, look at this. They're going to go after the rock. <laughs> oh. yeah. Wait, can, can, I, can you pin them anywhere? No. What? What yeah. happened? Oh, I just. Well, so I guess it's gonna happen to bump people to the rescue again. Where is the rock? Where did he go? Yeah. What? Fucking gross. Horseshit. Come on. Oh, sorry. Ah. Oh, Cushman's great. Ow. Ow, how bad? What? Yeah. Here we go. Yeah, please check out Jay's channel. Oh, here comes the rock. Watch out. Will. 
Oh no. Nope. DDT. Ooh, look at this fair. Wonder what this thing does. We're going after William Boucher now. Oh no. Oh, get him. Bucky approves of this destruction. Oh no, I was gonna give him my finisher! Yeah. Funk, I was gonna give him my finisher! Damn. Oh. Off of it. DDT. I hate this game. I don't oh, know. Donald. Right. We're gonna help out Brock here. Is he getting pinned? Oh. Yeah. <sighs> Here it is, charge finisher. Brock, give me some space. Oh, what is Kush? I'm gonna go beat his ass. Oh. Get up. Oh, get him. Can you pin outside? Can you pin anywhere? Here it is. No, 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 no. Let me give him the finisher. Let me give him the finisher. Here it is. Come on, boys. Pin him. Can't get a point there. Yeah. Why the fuck are I going to There it is. Yeah, man. Fuck it. He fucking reversed. Oh, got him. Here we go. It's Funkasaurus and I. Yeah, stun him. Stun him. You stun him. Drop him down, brother. So I can. Here we go. Oh. Oh. Oh hell no! You ain't getting two falls on us. You ain't getting. Oh no! Oh hell! Hell! Stay down. Stay down, boy. Yeah. Oh, way to go, Brock. <laughs> Irving's. Go for it. Go for it. Okay. What a kick out by Boucher. Give him your finish. Let him flip Brock. Give him his finisher. Get out. Funk, let him. I don't get a day for a hundred. He's down for the ten. Oh, he's getting triple team. Let let somebody give the finisher. We gotta yeah, use some strategy. Come on, Ricky. Oh no! Can you yeah. pin from outside? Oh, you want to go to the roof? Come on. Who, who wants to meet old fucking We got to go after Boucher. Come on. Come on. Oh, no. Oh, no. Come on. Everyone up to the roof. Everyone up to the roof. Come on. Do it. Get him. Come on. Up. Wait, somebody climbed the cage? No, I just got rock bottom. Oh, no. Help! No! Oh, 
guys, I need help! Help! Get off the roof, Ricky. How do you climb? Guys in the chat, how do you climb? How do you climb? How do you climb? I don't know how to climb! How do you climb up? Anybody in the chat? What's the uh, controls to climb up? Better not. RB? Uh oh. Man, I'm gonna lose it for everybody. RB. Right bumper. It's not working. <laughs> I'm playing keep away. R1? I can't climb the cage, boys. Oh, there's... Oh, boy, I'm in trouble. Look at this. I wonder if I could dive off. Oh, there we go. There we go. Boucher is a beast. Why am I climbing to the top? Why am I going this high? What are we doing? Wait, boys, why are we this up? Why are we up here? Yeah, do this, Ricky. Spin around. I can't get down, brother. I can't get down. It's like a rock concert. Oh, here we go. Here comes Boucher. All three. We'll get up on the roof. Yeah, no! Help! Help! Sorry, Boucher. Here he goes. He's getting thrown. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh my gosh! I don't. Th I've never seen anything like this before in this game. Oh no! Back up. Wait, am I gonna fall down? Nice job, Brock. Brock's a beast. He's giving me a wedgie. Oh! Oh! Where are you guys? We gotta watch out. Over here. Oh. Damn it, Brock. Did Brock leave? Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Oh, come on. Oh, no. Oh, I got to jump down. What shenanigans? I don't even know what's going on. He's throwing me down. He's going to throw me over. Don't do it. Oh no! Oh no! Roman Reigns! Face planted! Unbelievable! I got nothing left! I got nothing left! He's not moving. Oh, he's getting up. Can you pin from way up there? I gotta help out. I'm trying. I can't get up. Roman Reigns, I can't move. This is absolute madness. I didn't think I'd ever... Oh, no. I ain't going up. 
Come on, Ricky, fly by. Oh, they're going back down. Throw their big passes through the announce gate. He keeps his team in the match. Ah. Ah. Here we go. Oh no. No. What happened to our Brock Lesnar? Oh, it's not over? It's not over? This is, a, this is the most bizarre fight ever. I gotta... Get out. I gotta try to... No, no, no. Yeah. Come on, pin him. Oh, it gets oh. up at 2.5. Oh. oh, nice job. Help. Ah, I'm down for the count. This is the Oh no, Brock! Oh no! <laughs> rematch! I'd have had a fucking rematch right now. Oh, that was a good Ricky fight. Ricky ain't out in the street. We're rematching this. We're running it back. What a fight! Bullshit. I don't know my fights. My personal trainer no, uploads them to back. his amateur. But Funky is disappointed. What was that? The leg was unbearable. Unbelievable. You guys got laid out. What's going on here? Loaded again? What happened? Okay, there you go. Holy cow. We are done. It ain't over until fucking. I'm going gets to the Monster win. Truck Jam tomorrow. That's so cool, man. That is so cool. So should we do one more on this? That was like a bad prison movie. <laughs> Yeah, give the people what they want. That was the most epic match I've ever seen. I won't be able to play today. It's just too late. No problem, OG. So what do you guys want to see next? More funky action. <laughs> more, the more of the funk man. You should make a poll. Okay, let's do it. Hold on, Funkasaurus. I'll be right back. All right, so here, what should we play next? Oh, sorry, here we go. What should we play next? Should we get some UFC action going on? Generation Lost wants some UFC action. All right, this was the first time I'm cursing on this channel. Why the cursing? What happened? Choose wise guys. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages. Eric says, F UFC. You're going to play as Kyrian Cross. He won more. Oh, yeah. Who won? Telling you, if Canelo loses this one, man, could it be time to retire? Canelo won? Oh, okay. Canelo won easily. Braxton Lopez says, you lost. Ricky, I did Muay Thai from 10 hours today, and I got to be up at 5 a.m. tomorrow. I might have to hit the hay. No problem, brother. Thank you so much, CFH, for being here, man. I appreciate it. So what should we do next? 
Are we done? Let's see. What should we play next? UFC 4? WWE? Or Fight Night? We haven't done UFC yet. I wanted to show what my Ka was capable of because it really didn't have a chance. Man, you fought so well though, William. Peace and love, Ali. GG's, brother. What a win. Should we do a couple UFC fights? Anybody want to do some UFC action? I'm just looking at the time. Holy cow. Just play UFC. Okay. Who wants to play some UFC action? Who is down for the UFC wheel? Eric Irving is not happy. Eric Irving's got the passion. He's got the love for wrestling. Man. And you know what's funny, Eric? I didn't let you down. I didn't let you down. Okay, so I can face you in any system for UFC. So anybody wants to play me in UFC, let me know. You got Cushman. I want to fight Knight, but it doesn't matter. You know something, Eric? <laughs> How can you say that to Big Daddy Eric? Timmy wants to do some UFC. Eric, man, I thought you did so well. I didn't know how to climb that fence, and I want to thank the chat for telling me. Anybody else want to be put on the wheel for UFC? So we could battle on Xbox or on PlayStation. We got the big three. <laughs> Cop, you dare diss the old fucks are Big Van wants in? Have you ever heard of the wrestler Sean Schultz? No, I haven't. Ricky Van Allen Day. Okay, are we ready to spin this? We got the big four. The big bad four. For some UFC action. Okay, here we go. Again, it's best two out of three. You could pick the weight classes. Great rappers, Rumble. Thank you so much, Kurt Powell. Love you, brother. Three, two, one. Here we go. Oh, look at this. It's Kush, man. So, Kush, where do you want to go, brother? What uh, system do you want to play it on? What system does Big Man Kush want to play it on? Xbox One? Okay. Okay, I'm going to load it up here. Okay, so I'm gonna go to invite. I'll show you guys what I'm working with. Let me know what uh, weight class you want. So we go to. <laughs> We're gonna do it in the yard. Where's the yard? There's no yard, brother. Here it is. Let's see here. So, there's Cushman. Invite to game. Here we go. Did I send invite? Oh, there we go. I sent the invite. Did everyone enjoy my screaming and swearing? I love it, man. Eric, that's what makes it fun. He wrestled in Rockwood, Tennessee at a National Guard and Armory and won his first match. He was popular for being an Oak Ridge, Tennessee boy. Good for him, man. So, Cushman, where do you want to go? What weight class? Timmy says we need more cursing.
I don't know what weight class you want. Positive vibes, Ricky. Thank you so much, Tiger. We're gonna use Nick Diaz. Yo, what's going on? You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Tiger's a good guy. You know what I'm saying? He should train at Caesar Gracie Jiu Jitsu. You know, Caesar Gracie. You know, he does does great things. You know, teaches you discipline, and we don't sell wolf tickets. If you know what I'm saying. Look at this, Anthony Pettis versus Nick Diaz. Here we go. GG's to Kush. Here we go. Thanks again, everybody, for being here. Get a sub, but he's not talking about the sandwich, Generation Laws. I sound like Walt Jr. Here we go. Trying to throw the stock and slap. Yeah, stinky foot. First man's all business. Oh. Pressure. Stockton pressure. The Stockton pressure. That's what Nick was known for. Get a little tired. Just doesn't throw it all at 100%, but it adds up. Fight. Good fight to Cushman on the first of the best two out of three. So Cushman could pick. He could pick the uh, the next round or the next weight class. Your buddy fights for Pettis. Can you create your own UFC fighter in the game? Yeah, you can. But you know what? It's not the same as far as the amount of detail like WWE has. WWE's detail is unbelievable. He was one of the contestants in the TNA gut check, but he didn't make it all the way through. 
Oh, so Kush, I don't think Kushman, Kushman, do you want a second fight? I don't think Kushman wants a second fight. GG's to Kush. Holy cow. Well, the fight didn't go as I expected, and I have to say I'm pleasantly surprised with the scorecards. Always something going on in the boxing scorecards. You just never know, brother, which way it's going to go. Oh, I want me to set it up? Okay. okay here we go. The second fight. What's up, Kurt? Where does he want it? Let's do uh, middleweight, I guess. Put Kurt Powell on the wheel. <clears throat> this is UFC 4. Yeah, UFC 4. Here we go. We're using Luke Rockhold. The fight would have been better if someone got kicked off the top of the cage. I, I threw somebody off the cage and then I got thrown myself. That was wild though. That was wild. Hell in the cell. So I remember the brawl when Brock Lesnar versus Randy Orton and Sean was the security. What, what year was that? go push man's ready Kicks are great. I like how he's going with those shots down there. Trying to go, continue to go to that body. Oh, nice. Oh, good fight. Good fight, Coach Villain. Respect to him.
He got me rocked a couple times, and um, man, but anything can happen at the yard. But GG's. Ricky threw you first. Who did? I, did I throw Boucher? My bad. That was me. That tossed you up. I forgot about the detail. In game, sometimes you can throw someone off the cell. No worries, man. That's part of the badge. It was nuts. I went from having a full set of health, pretty much, to zero on that pull, which is great that they did that. The fat man ended up losing Shadow Snake by vicious KO. It was bad. Thanks again, Kushman. For a great fight, brother. But, um, yeah, Fat Man lost <laughs> in devastating fashion. Maybe I'll make a video on that. <laughs> we'll see. But um, does anybody want to do another uh, fight or is everybody... <laughs> Should we spin it? Big Van World, Notorious OG, Timmy Hendrix, Kurt Powell. Should we spin it one more time? You beat Fat Man. It was Will Smooth. The man, the legend. Wasn't my intention. I was after Kali. Okay, we're going to spin this. Here we go. Three. Two. One. Bit boom bop. Bit boom bop. Who is it? Look at this. It's Kurt. Kurt Powell. Comes in late. And it lands on you, brother. So what system do you want to play it on? Do you want to play me on PlayStation or Xbox, Kurt? I have it for both games, man. So let's see what he says here. Xbox One? No problem, man. What's your um, gamer tag? Let's do it. So what's his gamer tag? So I'm gonna find someone. Let's see. Nightmare. Oh, here we go. I'll switch over in one second. Night. Let's see. Nightmare. Fuel. Two eight three. Is it Nightmare? I think it may be Nightmare. I'll show you what I'm doing. Let's see here. Night. I think it's Nightmare. For some reason, it's not coming up. Nightmare Fuel. Oh, oh okay, I get it. I don't have to put the 283. It's fuel? Oh, okay. Night. I think it's... Is it, is it you right here? With the diamond? Two, eight, three. Okay. Let me do it again. Night. Mare. Fuel, two, eight, three, brother. Doesn't come up. Oh, Nightmare. For some reason, Kurt, it's not coming up. Favorite UFC trash talker of all time is Chael Sonnen. And hey, listen, listen. You know what I'm saying? Anderson Silva, Doug, he doesn't speak. He's The guy speaks English. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm sorry, I'm getting a Nick. He goes, Anderson Silva speaks English. The guy uses Ed Soares to hide behind, you know, hard questions. This guy speaks English. Uh, I put number? Okay, wait. Well, let me do it again. I have to do the hashtag? Maybe... <laughs> it sounds like Eric Irv. <laughs> oh 
Oh, what's going on here? This could be him. I want to ask for a Chael impression. Funny how I got... Anderson Silva speaks English. The guy uses Zedsoros like a cheap app. He speaks English. I'm going to guess that this is him. It is him. Look at this. Is this him? Let's do a poll of whether or not I should eat shrooms. I say don't do it, brother. Or do whatever you want. Kurt is your game. What is it? Nightmare. Night. Oh, you spelled fuel wrong. Like in the chat, you spelled fuel wrong. Oh, okay, I see you. So you picked the weight class, my friend. Here we go. Oh man, you can tell it's getting late. I can't type. <laughs> Skinny 4000? There he is. I think that worked. Okay, thanks so much for the message, Kurt. I sent you the invite. He got it. What weight class does he want, I wonder? What weight class do you want, Kurt? Let's see what weight class he wants. Oh, heavyweight? Okay. Dana White time. Uncle Dana. <clears throat> Uncle Dana. Can we get a GSP impression? Of course you can. When I lost to Matsera, I wrote a brick. Uh, I wrote his name on a brick and I threw it in the river. Sorry I sound like a poet, but I needed to do that to get my mind clear. Show you the best version of George St. Pierre every single time. Nobody's invincible. When I go out to fight, I'm going to dick, dick, I'm going to dictate the fight. Are you intoxicated? <laughs> Look at this, it's Stitch Durant. Stitch Durant is the ref. Here we go. Dana White's got that box. Look at this, we're all in the diapers tonight. Both of us are in the diapers. But Dana White's got good boxing. And he's got a great chin. Just kind of undersized. Job. Here he goes for it. There we go. Oh. Dana White slow with the combos. Tried to fire off the one, two. Dana 
firing the jab. Oh, nice. <laughs> He's smart. He's gone to boxing to cover his head. He's doing great. Continue trying to put that pressure on him. Whoa, that was an interesting 10 second clapper. Oh, a little smelly. It's over. Oh. Good little round, good little round. What's going on, Ray Reptile? We've been streaming for almost four hours, brother. I hope all you're I hope you're doing well man. Rolling in. So I'm gonna try to stay in his face. Oh, you hear the honk in the background? Dana White, even though he doesn't have the reach advantage, he's got the cardio. Oh, I thought he was going to do a Marco Ruas. Step on my toe. Oh, down goes <laughs> over him. Taking enough. And down he goes. So it's best two out of three. <laughs> we'll do another one for sure. Kerr, GG's. It's the Dana White pressure. I'm telling you, it's that Dana White pressure that just seems a little too much. What's up, KK We Network? Hope you're doing well, man. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for coming in. Herbs. <laughs> Why are you guys making fun of Herb? My love, Herb. The passion. Him, Muhammad Ali. They got some so much passion towards um, the respectable sports and games. So, pal, you could pick the weight class. Wherever you want, man. <laughs> Doug is just following the crowd. I don't know what weight class he wants. He wants the ladies. Phantom weight? I won't use... I'm not going to use Holly Holm. Can you believe it? Thank you so much, Kiwi. Kiwi says he loves my vids. Who am I gonna use? Um, Juliana Pena. I'm gonna 
Bernie is Megan Anderson. Wow, she's so tall. Wow. Have you thought about doing a WCW or AWA Rumble? Will, I think I've done a WCW Rumble. I haven't done an AWA Rumble. Yeah, man. Please call me Chris or Crimson. Oh, that's cool. I love that name, man. Crimson. Here we go. Eric Irving's a legend on this channel. I think Megan Anderson is the tallest female fighter ever. Wow. Look at this. It's Stitch Duran. Stitch Duran. Here we go, brothers. What? She's a monster! Wow! I think I found my favorite fighter in this game. Listed as a boxer, but she's got kickboxing kicks. Wow. Unloading the tank. Oh, I gotta be careful. Being in the pocket, throwing punches. just hit you from anywhere. Oh, nice high kick. Let's see how she is as a southpaw. GG's to Powell. Respect to Powell. I like this girl, Megan Anderson. She's a monster. She is a monster. Should we do another one? Should we do another one? Let's see. GG's, thanks, pal, man. Notorious OG, Big Van World, or Timmy Hendrix. Let's do another one. As we're nearing the end of the road. Boys to men, baby. So here we go. We're going to spin things up. Shuffle it up. Oh, world-class championship wrestling. World-class championship wrestling. The Von Air Company. Nice. I should do a rumble on that. Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, look at this. It's Timmy Hendrix. The guy that's been active in the chat. Here we go, Timmy, baby. All right, let's do this. Hendrix was on the sidelines. 
And now we're gonna do a best two to three action. You gotta find good spots to throw. Oh. Okay, so Timmy Hendrix. Here we go. Thank you all so much for being here, by the way. What a great stream. So much fun. So what's the weight class you want to start off with? Timmy, we're doing um, UFC just because of the time. The, the fights are quicker. The fights are quicker, so we're going to do UFC. You want heavyweight? Okay, no problem. No problem, brother. Everybody's, uh... <laughs> Irv sounds like everything. It seems by you guys in the chat. Like, share, and sub, my friend. Thanks so much. To Crimson. I said it right. Yes, it is, Braxton. You tell him, kind of... A little tired, brother. A little tired, but it's been a fun stream. But well, let's see, is, is Hendrix going to come in for the final? Irv's voice can beat Chuck Norris. Heavyweight. Oh, you want to do stand and bang? Okay. Stand and bang. Here we go. You definitely said it right. Oh, yeah. Okay, where is my man? Wait, did I miss him? There he is. So this is stand and bang. First time making it to the end of the stream. Brock said I... It's hard, man. Especially, with, like... I'm so impressed when people can be here for, you know, two to four hours. It really means a lot, man. It really means that you're entertained, you know, or you have nothing else better to do. <laughs> but um, it's been fun. But yeah, this will be the last one, man. This will be it. Thanks again, Braxton and Cushman. I like how they're like, they're like the big brothers. They're like, just end it. <laughs> After this, this is it. Dana White, here we go. Uh oh. Again, this is stand and bang. Nowhere to run. Nowhere to grapple. Okay, here we go. This is gonna be a tough one. Timmy's good at games, man. Saturday night, slap fights? <laughs> Here we go. Watch out for that power. Yeah. 
Hof. Dana's firing back. Nice. He's finding his groove now. Ooh. That pressure. Why are the fans booing? Dana. Using that pressure. So I feel like I'm winning this round because I got that knockdown. So no need to force the occasion here. Oh. Oh no. Dana with the uppercut out of nowhere. Oh. Dana with the little hookaroonie. I can't believe the stream's still going. We're almost done. Cedric Sly. That's actually a compliment, man. Because usually, you know, I don't can't I don't usually grind for that long in the stream, but this is it. Four freaking hours. <laughs> They've flown by though. <laughs> Totally flown by, here we go. Nice. 
so hard to time. Oh, good fight, brother. Good fight. Just watch your new Hall of Fame rumble. It's the classic. Thanks so much, Mike. What's going on, Mikey? Late night, Mikey. Coming in. Ricky, have you ever met Brianna Gautry? If I'm saying it right, just ask him. Because it's important to me. I'm saying the first and last name wrong. Thanks, Braxton. Who's uh, Brianna Gautry? GG's, Timmy, baby. All right, let's see. I kind of want to use uh what's up Lulu Bell? I kind of want to use that Megan Anderson again. Where is she? <laughs> this girl. <laughs> Ricky's still grinding. Gotta love it. What's up, Jay? We're almost done here, brother. We are almost done. Still watching over here in Pittsburgh. Okay, I'm going to use Megan Anderson. No way he's countering with Holly Holm. Thanks for the sub. Oh, I really appreciate that. Thank you so much for the sub. Here we go. So is Timmy going to even things up here? Thank you so much, Lulu Bell. Crimson is your hubby. Well, I'm telling you, Crimson's one lucky guy. And I really appreciate you, Lulu, coming in. Much love to you and yours. Thank you so much, Christopher. Here we go. Four hours into the stream. I can't believe this. And I'm facing my favorite fighter in Holly Holm. But I found a new love for... Uh-oh. I was going to show him the bow. Not really the most. Oh. Oh, thanks for the sub. Oh, nice. Oh. Timmy's just... Timmy's doing great. Oh. Oh. He's on a mission. Oh, thank you so much for the... Oh my gosh, I appreciate you guys. Holy. Thank you so much, Cedric Sly and Lulu. I'll check it. Um, when there's a break in the action. Are you intoxicated, Are you intoxicated or, something? or something? Who's intoxicated tonight? It's late. Wow.
The slobber docker. Oh. Are you Are you Thank you so much, Lulu and Cedric. Uh oh. Can't get off my left hand. Timmy's just doing such a good job. Pressure. Fight back. On she goes. What a crazy fight. I just have to touch her. Nothing flashy. Nice. Oh, a stinky up the middle. It didn't work. Unbelievable. Thanks again to Cedric Slice. As glad you're streaming, man. Lulu. With the four dollars, thank you very much. My favorite movie with Adam Sandler is Little Nicky. I like Happy Gilmore, to be honest. Uh, what was the other one, Jerry? What was the one? Was it, oh, I forget what it was called. With the vicious uppercut. Thanks, Crimson. What a fight this is, eh? What a battle this is. You ready? You ready? Let's go fight. There we go, baby. Coming at me, you gotta be careful. See that? Oh. Timmy Hendrix pressure. It's too much. Oh. Wow. Oh. 
Nice. Holly home. Oh, nice. Oh. <laughs> what a fight. What a fight. Oh. Both kind of scared to engage. We're bruised, battered, but not beaten. What a crazy fight. <laughs> Missing with the elbows. Wow. Nice. Oh, but Megan with that vicious uppercut again. How many knockdowns? Fight, man. Timmy Hendricks always gives me such battles. What a great fight, brother. Holy cow. Unbelievable. Good job, man. Timmy. This guy's just so talented in every video game that he plays. And you almost had me. That was wild. That was wild. But GG's. Let's look at the stats. Eight knockdowns. He rocked me four times, though. What a great battle. But I want to thank you all so much for being here. We have now hit the end of this stream. I cannot believe it. I appreciate all you guys. All the jokes, man. All the fights. All the, um, man, the beatdowns that you guys gave me, too. <laughs> they were so much fun. Can't wait to do it next Friday. You know, I don't think we'll ever, like, we'll continue going this long every single stream. But who knows, brother? Who knows? I was really into streaming tonight. So I'm happy we went over four-hour mark. Thanks again to all the moderators. Thanks for all you guys for being here. The people who so generously donated, man. You didn't have to do that. And I appreciate you guys so much. And we'll do this again. Thanks for the new faces that also came in and the people that decided to subscribe. I appreciate that. If you haven't subscribed, man, I'm not going to force you to. But um, you can if you want, brother. You can if you want. And um, it would really mean a lot to me. But thank you guys very much. Enjoy your Sunday. And I'll catch you next Friday. Unless I get stuck at work, okay? Love you all. 
Peace and love, and we'll see you next time. This is Ricky J, baby, for Ricky J Sports. All the best. Take care.